I know that I don't want to upset you as we get started, though, but there is a Meganium on this team. Well, of, of course. I was expecting that. You know, the, I was expecting that. Oh, no, we're know. getting an echo. I'm getting an echo oh, now. Shit. Now that we're live, I have an echo. I'm getting an echo now. Now that we're live, I have an echo. <laughs> no. Might be from my end. Probably not. Uh -oh. From my end, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, I just had the stream open, I and I uh, and I forgot to mute it. Hello, <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, I, we are back. Um, I'm back with Midnight Cowboy. Um, because I'm no longer streaming during weekdays at like <laughs> noon. <laughs> um, so now it's feasible with uh other normal schedules. So Midnight Cowboy's back for the first time. You all are back for the first time since you last saw the party. Midnight Cowboy's not seen the party. Uh, I have not. Since the end of part one. So my opinion Hi, is let, let's get started and let's let's take just a quick peek in here. All so, right. So, here's so, a, so who, are we, who are we bopping with? Okay. First of all, your guy. The can opener. He's still here. Oh, glad. I love yeah. him. He's almost to level 28. He has probably been the... <laughs> the least used because i grinded everybody else to evolution um so we've got we've got the can opener it's okay i know can opener will will, will prove their worth yeah they always do he he's he keeps being good even when he's like seven levels below everyone else in the party he's just still like the best <laughs> um we've got rocky the steelix um i did some universal pokemon uh, randomizer shenanigans to make this one possible <laughs> um, so that I didn't have to duplicate saves and link up two emulators. <laughs> um, we're going to pretend that I thief stole a metal coat though from a Magnemite um, because I could have done it. And because I could have done it means it happened. Exactly. Um, yeah. It's you just didn't do it, but you did. I, I did it in spirit. We got uh fish, the lantern. He's a nice, <laughs> like it's He's a nice... I, I, I always respect Lantern. I love Lantern gaming. This is my first time using Lantern, and he is so bad. Until level 24, it's unreal. <laughs> but once you get Spark and Sir, it also sucks because you can only catch Chin Chow in the water, and the only other Pokemon in the water are water types. So that kind of is a problem uh, until you get yeah. Spark. But then... They, oh, this Lantern is really good. Uh, she's great. Victor the Crobat, he's fully evolved. Do you remember when he was a lowly level two oh, Zubat? I'm so glad he's still here. Yeah. How are you liking Victor? Um, well, we have him holding a paralyzed heel so that I don't run out of bag space. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> he brings great utility to the team. He really does. Um, he's got fly, bite, confuse ray, and that's really all he needs. Wing attack when we need that extra, you know, accuracy or get something done in one turn. Um, mm -hmm. really, really great. He swept the fighting gym. He killed it in three attacks, the whole thing. <laughs> He's, yeah. yeah, nothing beats being the fastest thing in the game. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, like, the fastest Pokemon in this gen. Oh. If, if it's not, like, something else that's awful. I'm not 100%. Maybe Electrode is faster at this point. I don't know, but 111. Yeah, Electrode is faster. 111 the... speed. Compared to like, uh, Steelix is thirty four. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think we got we got this last one might upset you, so just be. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm prepared. <laughs> yeah, we've got C Money the Meganium. He is a Meganium now. <laughs> um, he is fully he is fully evolved. He is powerful. He has sixty nine speed. Which I think is also maybe upsetting. <laughs> um, that makes me happy. Yeah, I'm sure it does. And he's got the quick claw. <laughs> With poison powder, body slam, reflect. I mean, he is he is great. And then we have Dick the Paris. He's I mean, just still I mean, here. Look at those defenses. The what? <laughs> I mean, it, it, Meganium is just stonk. Yeah, 74 in both uh, physical and mental defense. And then, yeah, we have Dick the Paris, who's still level 6, but he's here cutting and flashing. Uh, hasn't been necessary. 
at all to cut and flash recently, but we do it anyway. Um, all right, chat. Hello, Nedler and Carol, Vivian, Gregster, Kelly, Marcus, Squatch, Doran, Raphael, Lord Pint, Tarpad. Welcome. Um, if you all can be so kind enough to let us know if the sound mixing is off at all. I think it's, I think it's good, but it can always be hard to tell. Um, we're ready to get, get right in. I'm sure. So we have uh, seven badges at this point. We just have to go beat the eighth gym. We also need a sixth party member, um, which, you know, we we philosophized and theorized a whole bunch about what we're going to do for the sixth party member. But I think the, the better decision will be Midnight Cowboy for you to just pick based on vibes. What goes into okay. slot six? Whatever you want, you can have. With, mm. We have to be able to catch it, though, and that can be a problem for Gen 2 sometimes. <laughs> well, okay, where where exactly are we? Um, I'll pull up the map here. Oh, my God! Look at that damage. Oh. <laughs> I was, and so look at you not take damage at all from that super effective hit. I was flipping out because I was not expecting Psybeam Remoraid. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> this is a... Yeah, but it didn't matter. Your your special defense is too stonk. Can opener is too good. I don't understand how he is so good. Yeah. There we go. Can opener. Gang gang. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Caldeo points out Gen 2 mod. We're going to try to keep it to a Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, just because uh, I'm a little antsy about that. I like to play with all the new Pokemon that they introduce in each gen. Um, but I've also used very few Gen 2 Pokemon ever. So I think um, a lot of people haven't used a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon. <laughs> there's, there's 100 Gen 2 Pokemon. And... Uh, I'm trying to get, I can't remember all the numbers off the top of my head, but there's like eight babies. And I'd say with the exception of like Togepi, nobody has ever used any of them. Um, and the only reason anybody's used Togepi is because it actually leads into a Gen 2 line. Um, you know, nobody's using Magby. Yeah. Maybe. Is their baby tier competitive? I know they have like pretty wild tiers out there where you use like single or there's first stage evolutions and stuff, but... Yeah, there's a... I don't know if it's in, like, Gen 2 specifically. Maybe it is. Uh, but, like, there's Little Cup where you specifically use first stage Pokemon at level 5. Mm. I'm sure the babies are uh, actually probably pretty good because they've got good types and you can do egg moves and stuff with them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've never tried it out myself, but it's, like, you know, it's interesting. Yeah. I think it's fun. It's fun getting yeah. to see like what happens when you know all the first stage Pokemon are kind of pitted against each other competitively. Yeah. What so, players do with that. So there are there are fifty three original evolution lines in Gen two. Of those fifty three, fifty one of them suck. So you know, okay. So of those 53, we have Celebi. You know, obviously we're not getting that. You got the Legendary Beasts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then like Houndoom. Uh, Tyranitar. Uh, Murkrow and Mischievous are not obtainable until the post game. So... Really, as long as we're outside of those, I could use the Legendary Beasts because, well, you probably remember. I don't know if you gave me a hard time about it, but X-Man did, which was that Pokemon Sword and Shield was so difficult that I had to use uh, Eterni Eternius to beat the Elite Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know. I, I honestly think that, like, the... I don't know about, like, the entire Elite Four, but... 
Um, but Leon is a pretty tough fight. He's a pretty tough champion, I think, in mm -hmm. like the scheme of all the Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. And Macargo. Okay, no Macargo either. It's a Macargo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, we completed the radio tower last time, Gregster, um, but we're not going for Suicune until we reach the city with the 8th gym, because uh, otherwise we can't buy Ultra Balls. I'm not going to try to catch Suicune with Great Balls. I apologize, but, <laughs> you know, it might be cost, would it be more cost effective to, like, buy 99 Pokeballs and then just see if we can make it work. Nah, I mean, I'd just get better Pokeballs. Yeah. The better your odds are, the better. Well, there's an Ultra Ball. Yeah, we have one. Now yeah, we can go. Yeah, there's the Ultra Ball. You're going to catch Suicune in that Ultra Ball. Well, here's the question. When do they... Chat, does anyone know when they run the calculations for whether or not a catch? Could we save state abuse this <laughs> one uh... <laughs> this one Pokeball? It's when you throw the ball. Okay, so if we save state abuse, like, the turn, like, when we're on the menu. Would not be that different from how I played Pokemon Coliseum. So we have a lot of potential... There's a lot of good Gen 2 Pokemon we could run with, right? Okay, you got Smeargle. Um, Unknown. Mm -hmm. uh, Deli Bird. Always a classic. We love Deli Bird. I, I use uh, Deli Bird in Pokemon Random Battles to beat an Ursaluna once. <laughs> it's good. I you should use it now. Yeah, I assume that's impressive. I don't know what an Ursaluna is. As you can see, I'm still playing games from 2000, so I'm having to work my way up. <laughs> oh, oh, take your time. Uh, you, if you don't want to deal with a guts-boosted facade Ursaluna, uh, you, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Ursarang, Gregster says. Now, Teddy Ursa is one of the 1% encounter rates, at least in gold and silver. It might be better in crystal. I'm not sure. But, and we've got Fanfi. Oh, you know what would go real Good hard? Sir mentioned that Ursaring is pretty good. I do like yeah. Ursaring. Yeah. Do you know where to find Ursaring in this game? Um, I don't know in this game. I'll check the Pokedex. Um, I know that Teddy Ursa is a 1% encounter rate and Ursaring is a 5% encounter rate, which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I it's it's one of those like things where when you look at it, it's like there there's like that John Boyce moment where you're like no trust me there is an explanation but it's still funny. <laughs> there's a uh, one of the frustrating parts here. Um, there are a lot of. Uh, alternate evolutions that are added to Gen 1 Pokemon and Gen 2, which probably also is why a lot of people haven't used Gen 2, I'd guess, because a ton of Gen 2 Pokemon, relatively, like, something like about 10% of the Gen 2 roster is locked behind um, trade or post-game item evolutions. Shit like Sunstones to get Bellossom or uh, getting metal coats to get Sizor and Steelix and Porygon 2 obviously with the upgrade disc mm -hmm. um Sunstone is bug catching contest okay so if, if we were playing on Tuesday and safe state abused we could get a Sunstone <laughs> uh which I almost did I came in third in the bug catching contest because we caught a pincer oh wow yeah it was very cool Okay, let's actually uh, open up the Pokedex. Vivian's uh, uh, asking, like, how how you came up with the team. Uh, how does somebody come up with the team? Just felt it out. Yeah, I kind of 
here's how here's how I usually build Pokemon teams because I'm not I don't do competitive and I've not I don't know the games inside out so usually how it goes is um, I have my starter then I immediately try to find something that can kind of cover the starters weaknesses and then I look ahead to whatever the next gym is and then flip the fuck out because I have nothing that can handle it and then try to figure it out there. So that's sort of what's going on with slot six is I'm freaking out over Claire because I don't know how to deal with the dragon gym. And we got to figure it out like in a hurry of uh, I'm not sure where uh, old dude is in here. Ursaring. Ooh, we got swine up and pile of swine. Ice types are pretty goaded. Ice types are very fun. Where's our dude? Have I not seen a Teddy Ursa? I could have sworn I'd seen a Teddy Ursa. I can press start to search. Okay, let's search normal types. What? Togepi is not the only raw normal type in this game. There's no way. <laughs> that can't... Is it only searching Pokemon I've caught? Well, someone in chat will tell us where Teddy Ursa is. There's Dunsparks. Ooh. Of course. We could I mean, get there's a Furret. Centret. Centret goes hard. Seeing Centret be able to surf as a kid was one of the best moments I've ever had playing Pokemon. Um, it was certainly a lot better than using Furret and Centret. <laughs> Lantern is tough. Lantern is pretty tough. Once we, once, once she evolved and got spark and everything. There's some cool water types though. You know, there's, there's Mantine as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I did, I think I used Mantine when I played one of the GameCube games. I think Coliseum, I used a Mantine for a while. Have you played any of the, either of the GameCube games? Uh, not all the way through. Mm -hmm. uh, I started playing uh, Gale of Darkness a little while ago. I just haven't followed up with it. Yeah, they're very slow. <laughs> um, yeah, they can be. I also love the fact that they're in the yeah entirely focused on double battles, though. Oh, it is great. the The battle system yeah. in those games is awesome. All right, here we go. Um, all right, we were talking about <laughs> catching maybe a Pokemon here. I have four yeah. Ultra Balls. We're all, so we're catching Pokemon on a budget. I think yeah, we can get it done. That's fine. They're Ultra Balls, so they're going to work. Yeah, they're good. They always work, especially because we do have Thunder Wave on Lantern. Okay. Now, I got in a little bit of a hot pickle mess last time because some people were trying to say I was insane. I like the ice sliding puzzles in Pokemon, and I miss them in the 3D games. I think they're great. I... I, I... I'm fine with them. I love them. You know, most people they make game... you think, and they make your character go wee across yeah. the screen. Most people, like back in the '90s, like you know, their their like video game, you know, loves and crushes and waifus was shit like I don't know, Aerith from Final Fantasy. And for me, it's the ice sliding puzzles from Pokemon Gold and Silver. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> you gotta. Now these ones are a little challenging because you you can't see the end. It's not like Price's Gym, so we've got to we got to vibe this out a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so we need to. I think if you go like down yeah, to the left, maybe we need to get on top that block that's on the furthest left. We have to get on top of it somehow. So down left, up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now this is my least favorite part of Pokemon. Is right here. Which is where you have branching path inside a dungeon. 
Because usually, like, one path leads you to the end, and the other leads you to, like, the TM for Earthquake. Yeah. No! There's the TM for Earthquake. Back to the puzzle. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see which TM it is. I'm surprised you haven't ran into anything yet. Uh, let's see. Ah. Yeah, maybe... Oh, oh, they they put it. They just put an HM right there. <laughs> you can just walk <laughs> past it. <laughs> Outrageous. Um, such an move. That's, that's such a dick move. Um, waterfall. Yeah, there's there's a there's three water <laughs> HMs in this game. Ah, uh, cool. You got the you got the slightly less worse water HM. Okay, so if Whirlpool, Whirlpool, Waterfall, and Surf, and we have to... We can't have them all on Lantern is the problem. Because we also <laughs> need a Spark and Thunder Wave. You know, I, I really... Sometimes I think about, like, especially before the physical special split, whose idea was to give Pokemon three Water HMs? Don't they have, like, five three Water HMs them. in Gen 3? What do you say? Don't they have like four in Gen three, or did they get rid of Whirlpool and replace it with well, they, dive? They got rid of Whirlpool. It's I think it's just it's dive surf, now. Dive right? and waterfall. Great. Okay, my uh, strength Pokemon is not here, so we're gonna have to give this to somebody. I think Canover is gonna be strength uh, now. I've been playing through Pokemon Emerald again for kicks. And just to make it easier on myself, I'm running an all-water team. And even then, it, it, it's hard to manage all of the water <laughs> HMs. <laughs> Goodbye, Fury Attack. All right, the can opener is strong now. All right. But would you give... Oh, you gave him strength? Yeah, because our, our strengther was uh, the pseudo-wudo Squirtle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What happened with Squirtle? Uh, he just got sent because I needed Cut to go find a Suicune, so I had to get Dick out of the thing. There he is! Ooh! Level 24 2 is crazy. Pig. Pig. Ooh. I love Swinub. He's Look so at that little cool. guy. Oh, oof. Uh. The can opener is no. too strong. No, well, there's more pigs in the sea. That sucks. Well, not for can opener. I like. I thought there was like a small chance the can opener was going to die. Like, because maybe an ice move would hit him or something. But the bolt. Nah, can opener is too good for that. Okay. I love strength puzzles. Uh. Okay, we need to push it through the top. Real pain is when you accidentally bump the boulder where you don't want it to go, and then you have to find an exit out of the floor to reset everything. I'm going to guess we have to... Let's see... Push all of them. Pig. <laughs> no, that would have been the perfect time to attack. It doesn't affect enemy swine up. Wait a minute. Are they ice ground? Uh, yes, they are. <clears throat> Whoa. That goes hard. Uh, but it also means we just killed it, probably. Yeah. Oh, no. The, the, here's going to be the... Okay, I think we have found the problem with trying to catch a swine <laughs> up. <laughs> your, your boys are too strong. Yeah. The, the question here is... Well, I think Bite's probably weak enough that it might... Be yeah. Then you'll be weak to ice. Mm. 
Yeah, but also like this is uh this is Gen 2 AI. They just click random buttons. So <laughs> I don't think we have too much problem. I love the animations in Crystal. They're really cool. Okay. Oh, that was a crit. Maybe we'll get it on the next one. I'm starting to have my my doubts about adding a swine up, just in general, <laughs> considering what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe swine up is not him. Are you are you telling me you're not a believer? I'm telling you, just got you. I'm not a believer, but all that has to happen is you say the word about which Pokemon you want. Um, I'm just throwing it pig mm -hmm. for fun. I, I honestly do really like Swina, but I'm, not, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. I'm still keeping my feelers out. Yeah. Like, I can still... I'm still probably going to, you know, catch one just to catch one, you know? Keep our of options course. open. Oh, this is big. Crobat on Golbat Violence. One problem with Swine Up is that it evolves at a level where you would already be midway through the league. Uh, I don't think we're having any issues with that. Like, we're getting levels pretty good. Because mm -hmm. um, I've got pretty much every, everyone but the can opener is in the 30s. Well, that's probably... That's probably the product of not having six Pokemon. Not a whole lot of high-level Pokemon that you encounter in Gen 2. Okay, we kicked all of the boulders down. Oh, that's what they were for. This is going to be fun. Especially when you have like 15 different starting points. So let's find out. Oh, yeah, because you have to put the rocks in the right place. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> right into it. The issue of Swine Up is that by the time you're out of this cave, you'll likely have enough Ultra Balls for Suicune. Well, like, <laughs> are you a, are you, okay, random question. Are you a, uh, are you a, um, legendary hound? Do you like to use the legendaries or do you like tend to avoid them? Yeah. Depends on the run. I, I enjoy using them. <laughs> I like them because they're ready-made. So it's not really usually an issue to just throw one on the team yeah you know I, I think that's kind of that's kind of the appeal of legendaries because they do also have their own limitations you know a lot of legendaries tend to kind of have like limited move pools mm -hmm. especially especially in these like earlier generations yeah the only problem is they're so powerful <laughs> yeah the only problem is that in these earlier generations most pokemon have a pretty limited move pool yeah, that's fair, so too. Good. Okay, <clears throat> we need to get to the center island. I, The problem I'm having here is visualizing this one. What rock do we need? Oh, we did it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, we solved it. No! I don't know if Rock Smash is a TM in this game or not, or an HM. I don't... Yeah, it's it is not. Did you not have to get it? Well, no, there's um. Yeah, it's a there's no HM for it. I should probably teach Dig to sub one, but I'm still waiting on whether or not we're getting Don Fan or something. Um, and Mud Slap, as you can guess, Mud Slap on a uh, Steelix does oh so much damage. Ooh. Is Never Melt Ice the uh, boost ice type attack item? Yeah, that's the one. I apologize, Claire. 
it's already bad for gym leader number eight. Okay, not that way. Man, did we did we kill all the pigs? Ooh, you might need it later, says Lord Pit. Ooh. <laughs> well, we have... We're not that far from getting Earthquake, TM. I should probably just use Dig. Especially on a very fast Pokemon like Steelix. Ooh. I have never used a Jinx. And even though I said I kind of want to prefer to use Gen 2, if I've never used the Pokemon, period... We can make it work. And Jinx I've never used. Never mind. The can opener continues his reign of terror. <laughs> Quart. <laughs> I like Quart's messages there. Jinx is actually really good. Never mind. Um, yeah, Doran, the, the old Jinx design from Gen 1, not good. Not great. Huh. Nicer, to, uh, nicer to avoid it. Yeah, Gen 1, to kind of avoid it. Only person that plays with Jinx in Gen 1 is Justin Trudeau. <laughs> I did think that your uh, Justin Trudeau team was very innovative at the time. Yeah. Just so chat knows what the Justin Trudeau team is. Because it's very um, innovative, as you say. Uh, the Justin Trudeau oh, team was just play as, the, uh, play as all of the racial caricature Pokemon. You know, because that's what, that's what Pokemon's all about. I think we can actually Thunder Wave. I don't remember oh, who yeah. we all came up with. There's Jinx and there's Ludicolo. Uh -huh. um, I couldn't think yeah, of any others. <laughs> there's really not a lot to to select from, thankfully. Yeah, this um. Halucha, I can't. I don't know what. If it's a newfangled Pokemon after like Gen three, I or Gen four, I don't really know what it is. Um, by memory. I know there's hit and throw. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Give me that. Where's my balls? Throw and sock. Hello, Starry. We're doing good. What's up, Argawala thing? Uh, okay, paralyzed and red health. Not catching in an ultra ball with paralyzed red health feels wrong. Oh my god, we're not even getting Wiggles. Do you remember the Wiggles? I do remember the Wiggles. Well, we're gonna have to... Alright, I'm, I'm hitting the B button. We're, we're, we're twirling the D-pad. One, <laughs> two, three... Yes! It worked! Nice! <laughs> um, We talked about this in the first stream, and it, it, it comes up every Pokemon stream anyway. For me, it was rock the D-pad and rock A and B. Some people, it's like, hold down. Mark says down and B. Um, <laughs> Jinx's Pokemon description is human shape. I think that makes everything even worse. <laughs> human, uh, shape. human shape. Yeah. yeah, all right. It's like anthropomorphic, I guess. Yeah. Justin. Justin T. Justin T. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want that Pokeball, so we're going to get it. Let's see. We have to somehow get on top of that ice block. Not sure how we're going to do it. Hmm. Hmm. 
I see. I see how we can... No, I don't see how we can do this. Okay, we need to somehow be underneath that block, basically. We have to hit... <laughs> Astro Boy. <laughs> Everyone's I see the uh, solution. Except Astro Boy, I see Wiener. Sorry, we're, we're abandoning Pig now because I have one Ultra Ball left. Okay. By chance, you don't see the solution to this, do you? Um, you go back down again. I I don't think I do. But... Okay, so there's the ball. It, it looks have... like you have to like go. You have to go further up. Yeah, because I think, cause I think get... from the pokeball yeah. we have to come from the left. So we have to be on top of that ice block that's on the bottom left, which is going to shoot from straight up, which is going to be right underneath this rock. And to get to that rock though, that's that's our problem point. Mm. You know, I'm trying to see. Wait a minute. Or those other blocks we can get to. Okay, wait. Let's come back around this way. And then down here. Uh, oh, There shit. we go. Okay. There we go. I didn't realize that you could jump over that ledge. I wasn't thinking about the ledge. That's, that's... Again, these, these games for eight-year-olds, are they are tough. <laughs> hey, that was rest. That's the rest TM. That's pretty good. I think. I'm pretty sure rest is good if you've got a big chunky guy like Snorlax. I, th I, think, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Rest is busted in this game. If we've got a, a big... We need a big boy, though, for rest. Do you think Meganium would be good with rest, in your professional opinion? <laughs> um... I know you have your feelings about Meganium, but let's uh, let's be I, I objective. Do. No, of, co of course, Meganium would be good with rest. You just gotta gotta give her that Chesto Berry. <laughs> I love. Oh, you're gonna be sleeping for too long. Yeah, I need to I need to log back in the Pokemon Red and, or a uh, Gold and Silver Crystal every single day to get my. Uh, I'm never gonna wake up to get my Chesto Berry every day. <laughs> Oh, we don't snap out of confusion while we're asleep. That sucks. At this point, I just want to kill this Golbat out of pride, I guess. Hey, you know, there is one Pokemon you haven't found yet here. Well, mm -hmm. okay, we haven't found a Delibird yet either. Um, but if you come here at night... You have a 1% chance of finding a Sneasel. Ooh, that's pretty good. How much money you bet that there's a hidden item on that bottom ledge down there? There probably is. Let's go get it. There's not. But there's a not hidden item that we just couldn't see. <laughs> you know what the good thing is? Is that like rest into Chesto Berry is really good. But we're also playing single player, so I could just use, like, a Hyper Potion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could do that. Is Delibird locked to specific hours? Or have we uh, just... Uh, you can find it there at night as well. Okay. So Deli Bird's only night? <clears throat> yeah. That kind of sucks. It does. Because I'd want Deli Bird. 
Hold on, we're, we're gonna have to stop the stream for a little bit and then come back when I change the internal clock on my operating system. <laughs> and we can get Deli Bird. <laughs> Goodbye, Wait, do you Do you have another flying type on your team? Only Crobat. Okay, yeah, that's right. How could I forget about Victor? Mm, protein. Ooh, protein. I was at the gym and saw a guy that looked exactly like Goro Majima from Yakuza, and it's been freaking me out ever since. <laughs> you can roleplay Shadow Ball being a dark move. <laughs> God, early Pokemon's crazy. Wasn't it? Isn't it weird that Ghost is a physical type? Yeah, I'm not sure what the reasoning is for that one, but it is funny. <laughs> it is funny. It's very funny. All right, we're in black. I think it's one of those things that never makes sense, but you have to respect it. Yeah. Well, okay, so you're here. You're in the town. Okay, Poke gear. I think is this our last town? Yeah, this is our last town uh, of the game. Before the Elite Four. Um, I don't want to... Again, I, I, I understand the, uh, the issues we're going to have. Before catching a sixth Pokemon, potentially, we might just see what Meganium does to this, this Dragon Gym. I have a, I have a bad feeling about it. I mean, I have a good feeling about it, but bad for the eighth gym leader. Although I think we have to do like a weird side quest before we can actually um, do it. What's old dude here say? Claire, our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run of the mill trainer to win. Oh, we can just go in and go. You can't damage them very easy, but they're supposed to be weak against ice type moves. You know. What are even the dragon types that are in Gen 1 and Gen 2? I think it's just Dragonite and Kingdra. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. I don't think they even added any in Gen 2. They added Kingdra. I'm mistaken. Kingdra is new to Gen 2. Um, because okay, it's Kingdra is new. Horsey, the middle one, and then Kingdra. What is the middle one? Does, does Kingdra also require a trade to evolve in this game? I don't... I think... So. You need you need an item. Yes, people are saying yes. You need, like, the dragon yeah. scale. Um... All right, let's go into Bill's PC and let's deposit. Let's put up Dick. And take Justin Trudeau with us. Because Justin Trudeau has an item that we want. And also potentially uh, ice type moves that we want. Iceberry. I, I don't want to hold the iron. Let's see. Never melt ice. I'm just giving never melt ice, assuming that there's going to be ice moves. Lick. Okay, we've got the 40 base power powder snow. Wow. You got powder snow. We've got lick. <laughs> Lovely kiss ain't bad. You Lovely know, you kiss is pretty good. Move. This is this is not a bad little move set here for a freshly caught uh, set of Pokemon. Yeah, you could do worse. Now the question is, do I actually have standards low enough to use Justin Trudeau in combat? I think the first thing we have to do is see what even what 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 type of Pokemon are even being used in this gym. 
Uh, I like, can I can see. Yeah. Who do you know who the gym leader's name is? It's Claire. Claire. I know Claire's party is pretty simple. I think it's just Dragonair, 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 uh, Kingdra. Is Dratini part water and it loses that, or? No, no, it's just pure dragon. Okay. Okay, so Razor Leaf is not then the way to go. No. Oh, nice. No, it is Quick not. Claw. Yeah. So, so she she does have three dragon airs. Um, what's the deal? They all have about the same move set. Um, all of them have Thunder Wave, Slam, and Dragon Breath. The only difference is that one is Surf, one is Thunderbolt, and one is Ice Beam. I'm already not a fan of how this is going. Yeah. Oh no, Sea Money. Alright, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> See what JT can do. Uh, and Kingdra looks annoying because it has smoke screen, and I remembered the smoke screen Kingdra that's in Pokemon Emerald and how annoying that is to fight, and I don't, I don't, I know. I'll get in there, Justin. Yeah. Thunder Wave is so annoying. <laughs> it makes me want to whine. Jinx never got an evolution, right? Uh, no. Because Mr. Mime did and Farfetch did. and I, I wonder what Pokemon from Gen 1 have not gotten evolutions. Because I think, like, even, like, Aerodactyl got, like, a Mega, right? Uh, yeah, it did. Almost all, like, the Gen 1 Pokemon have gotten some kind of treatment. Uh, Medler says, I saw some data mine that showed... Jinx was supposed to get a Mega, but it's obvious why they scrapped it. Just Jinx, Tauros, and Ditto. I'm surprised Tauros hasn't. I get why Ditto hasn't, because Ditto did kind of get a glow up with the addition of uh, breeding. This is like a yeah. thing. Well, uh, what is it? Uh, I mean, Tauros got a regional form. Mm hmm. I mean, that's something. You know, um, and almost all the Gen 1 Pokemon have gotten, like, something like that. Either a Mega or, like, an alternate region form or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. They just really stayed away from Jinx, I guess. Well, g -Mark does point out that Jinx... I, and I'd completely forgotten, Jinx does have a baby evolution in Gen 2. Smooch him. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. 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 That's true. That's something. Smoochum is 100% just on its own evidence for... Yeah, they was just using the uh, the scrap designs from other games for some of these. <laughs> I don't know what Smoochum looks like, I'm going to be honest. I just said the name Smoochum, and I felt ill. <laughs> there's, uh, there's water around this gym. I wonder if we can surf around... Jinx sucks, by the way, because uh, under leveled and powder snow, and I don't feel like doing any investment to actually fixing this problem. Yeah, I mean that that's a problem with catching late game Pokemon. Yeah. What? Oh, there's a strength puzzle inside of a dungeon or inside of a gym. This is great. If you level her up, she'll learn Ice Punch. Actually, are. Let's see what uh what level does she learn that at? I think Marcus said twenty five. Is is ice physical or mental in Gen One? I think it's, I it's think special. it's special. So, sixty special attack is pretty outrageously good. You know what? Let's let's just let's just. Let's just try. Let's just try. See what happens.
Oh my god, I just saw the level on this thing. <laughs> Is Cedra just plain water? Uh, I think so. Alright, get in there, sea money. Oh. Oh, this is already starting off great. Ice isn't super effective versus Kingdra, it's so sad. What is super effective versus Kingdra? What would be our... Would it be like Rock? Dragon. Just Dragon? Dragon is the only thing super effective. They did finally introduce Dragon moves in this gen. Nice. Cool Trainer Fran paid out seventeen seventy six dollars You love to see it. Oh, what is up with this strength puzzle right here? We're going to have to push that. Oh, man. We're going to have to push that boulder all the way up, aren't we? Oh, no. <clears throat> in case we didn't get enough of it in the ice cave, let's go for some more. It would be fairy, but we're back in the 90s. Is fairy effective against dragons? Uh, yeah. I'm not whole familiar with this whole newfangled fairy type that they introduced 10 years ago at this oh, point. It's, it's just the most broken type in the game. It's immune to dragon and super effective to dragon. Mm. Now that dragon's a good type, I guess. Yeah. Free and it's only weak to, like, two of the worst... Well, Poison and Steel aren't terrible offensively now that fairy types exist, but uh, they're really not, like, that good at, like, <clears throat> damaging much else other than fairies yeah. most of the time. And it's weird. It's a very because... hard type to deal with. Yeah. Because in these older games, Dragon is, like, exclusively designed as a defensive type. It's there to be annoying late-game enemies that you have to try to work with. Um, because there's just not a whole... The only benefit to the Dragon types that I can think of off the top of my head is, like, just that they're really good stat-wise, too, is the other problem. Yeah. I mean, it's usually, like, where they kind of come out. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they get to be good defensively. And, like, they have the good stats, but they don't have the good dragon moves. They do now, well, Later on, they just got really good dragon moves and then became overpowered. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sickening how good <laughs> they've become later. Okay, we can already yeah. access Claire, it looks okay. like. I see that Doran Brooks is mentioning that Fairy was introduced just to counter dragons, and it's it's very true because in a by the time Generation Five kind of came around, especially in the competitive games, like Dragon just became such an overpowered type mm -hmm. that I think of like Pokemon Company kind of like realized that like Dragon needed to be nerfed in some way, mm -hmm. and Fairy type was the nerf, and now Fairy type is the best type. <laughs> Is it? Is it? The best type is it not unknown. Is. Dragon Rage sucks. Ugh. Like, it's not bad to deal with because it's fixed damage, you know, if we have a lot of HP, but... We can't use reflect strats on it. Although I'm right. sure you're pleased about that. Yes! We love it when poison powder pays off. That's odd. <laughs> Why is that his dialogue? That's odd. <laughs> what a legend, we're being honest. Uh, get in there, can opener. Top three types were Water Fairy, Steel, then Grass is probably fourth. Is Steel all that? I mean, steel is great defensively. Because you get what? so many resistances. Not a whole lot of stuff gets Steel. Yeah. 
How is uh how how has your big steel boy been doing for you? Your steel snake? Steelix has been pretty good. By the way, I just want to talk a little bit about what can opener is just casually doing as the lowest level Pokemon on my party. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats that stunk attack. You can't you can't stop it. Like he two shots everything. Uh, unless it's a wild Pokemon I'm trying to catch, then he one shots it. <laughs> <laughs> he also has got crazy speed too. Ugh. Dragonair's a little bit thick, but what what would be our game plan for dealing with Dragonair, let alone three of them? Um Can opener. Can opener does do good things. Can opener can take two dragon rages. <laughs> and sea money can take him. They have no other options, I'm sure. Oh, man. Oh, bro doesn't even care that he's paralyzed. No. Tax right through doesn't it. Doesn't matter. All right, let's try Steelix. It's this whole thing in you one You know, it looks really good for this. Uh, I think once you beat the Dragonair with Surf, because you'll, you'll resist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like their actual dragon moves. Once they have moves that are not just dragon rage. Yeah. What kind of dragon moves are they even rocking other than dragon rage? Uh, they have dragon breath. Yeah. Dragon and since breath. you're a ground type, they can't thunder wave you. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. Uh, let's make a little shortcut here. Why don't we? I'm going to be so sick if I leave the dungeon and the strength puzzle resets. That's where the boulder goes? Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> That's a tease. What a shame. bike all right get in there now if we can't beat claire we can just go catch suicune <laughs> um you know what else i'm thinking what's that i'm thinking okay justin trudeau is just not strong enough we're gonna take justin trudeau and breed him with a ditto <laughs> so that we can catch smoochum just so i can say i caught a baby pokemon why do you want a baby Pokemon? Just to say that I did it, you know? Okay. Sometimes that's really all you need. Just gotta do something with my life. <laughs> so how does breeding work? Is it... You're with the Ditto, or it's whatever the mother Pokemon is. If you have, uh, I I think it's whatever like the mother Pokemon is. If you're not using a Ditto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless it's a Ditto, in which case, it's just whatever the not Ditto is. Yeah. I wonder where Dittos come from. <laughs> probably something we don't want to know bro can't you can't you get a dawn fan after you yeah we can get a dawn like fan after you get out of this place yeah i think you can actually dawn get a dawn is... fan at the beginning of the game like a level two or three one. Oh, i did i forgot about that yeah yeah apparently um did i was trying to think of who we can add to the team who that whose name does not start with J and and end in Austin. Hmm. Many options out there. Um, I'm scared of this fight. I don't know. Opens on Dratini or Dragonair. 
I am Claire, the I world's best Claire. Dragon Master. <laughs> Not even the Elite Four is a match for Gym 8. Wow. If the Elite Four can't beat Claire, what kind of difficulty curve does this game have? Let's see if we can do it. I don't think we can. I have my doubts. Hardcore doubts. I mean, we're starting with a non-ace level 37 opening Pokemon. This is not okay. This is fine. How does counter work? Uh, Against a move like Dragon Rage? It's... Uh, I, I think in this gen it still only uh, reacts if the opponent uses a physical move against you. And I don't think any of these Dragonairs have physical moves. Uh, they have slam. So Dragon is special? Dragon's a special type. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Can opener just ignored Thunder Waves. Didn't care. <laughs> like it said, didn't affect. So Dude it's used. Care. It's used. What? It's getting hit, and he doesn't care. <laughs> He's just eating it. Oh yeah. Let's uh, go. Someone's mentioning that strength is stronger than than horn attack. Oh. Well. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it on the next one. Oh man, and can opener's leveling up too. For more attack and more speed. And now we come to find out an even stronger move. Oh my god, he's Look, he's picking up a rock! <laughs> Look at him go. He doesn't care! It just doesn't affect He doesn't care! <laughs> <laughs> I love I love too the shake of the rock at the very top of its uh Okay, it finally got us. We we couldn't get away with it forever, but you know. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Why is he like this? <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it through this one, but put up an incredible fight. Yeah, I mean, no, he he can he can pull through. Does he eat the slam? He ate the slam. He, the slam. he still didn't get paralyzed. Got chip in. Let's go, Buff Boy. Dang. We we praise a fallen hero. Get in there, Victor. He didn't come out alive, but that was his fight. Yeah. What's that doing? Oh, oh. You know, Thunder Wave, I wonder if Victor can still outspeed. Because he's just like that. He's just like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to hurt. He's not no, oh, my good. God. It's a three shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Why? Okay. Crobat <laughs> was already really good. Giving Crobat an evolution was honestly psychotic. <laughs> Crobat survives things that it shouldn't. I literally don't care. Get in there, sea money. Hit him with the poison powder. No. Uh, uh. Okay, we got qu we we click quick Claude. Nice. So now we win this fight. We just have to survive. Basically, yeah. You you nailed it. <laughs> I don't know if that surf spiel going to hurt. That actually did pretty pretty bad damage. And at least that water type means Razor Leaf's going to actually do something. You know, it it wasn't nothing. It wasn't. Oh nothing. my god! <laughs> god, it's so aggressive. <laughs> what is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's also not a problem, though, because now we just get a free attack, right? Because I think that Hyper Beam glitch is only Gen 1. I think so, yeah. Yeah.
Oh my gosh. No! Oh, that's tedious. You know, we have a hyper potion too. We have a revive too. You think we should bring back a. Oh my god! You think we should bring back the can opener? Kingra's poisoned. I don't, I don't yeah. see the problem. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Come on, fish. You know what would suck? Really bad? No. Mm -hmm. If Kingdra kills me, right? And then the poison kills the Kingdra. No one gets the EXP if fish dies. <laughs> no. We got we gotta get somebody else in there. I I mean stat. Get in there, Rocky. <laughs> Oh, normal oh, nice type? Boom. Oh! Ate the whole thing in one bite. <laughs> you ain't gonna... You ain't gonna tell anyone that I housed Claire's hyperbeam, did you? <laughs> Fish is trying to learn to confuse Ray. Um... No! Okay, I, I, I accidentally double tapped. Good thing Surf was at the top. Supersonic or Confuse Ray? Which is the one that has the better hit rate? Uh, I think it's Confuse Ray. Yeah. I don't know what the accuracy is in this gen, but I think, I think it's, it's the, the same. Percent. Okay, that really wasn't so bad. I think that first trainer in the gym was harder. <laughs> I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. Oh, I know. I know. I don't disagree. <laughs> I do not disagree with the sentiment at all, Claire. You just take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine in its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of a gym badge. What is with the Johto gym leaders in being the biggest babies? <laughs> At least Bugsy knew he sucked and gave you the badge I, I like immediately. That, I like that Claire specifically is just like, no, you have to go talk to my grandpa first. Yeah, Claire's literally sending on us on a fucking sun and moon challenge. Claire wants you to meet her parents. Um, okay, we have options then. We can go do that. Okay. Let's see, let's see what male Pokemon we have in our storage. So let's deposit. I'm sorry, but we're gonna deposit the can opener, but just very briefly. And okay. I, I, I can accept that for now. Okay. Dick the Paris. Okay, got Dick. Got Dick. And now we're gonna uh, fly over. Um, Gosh, where was the... I think the daycare was right south of Goldenrod. Paris can't breed with Jinx. Why not? How does this work? If you're breeding for a baby, don't bother. The couple at the daycare gives you an odd egg that hatches into a baby Pokemon. Not the same egg group. This is dumb. Alright. Jinx needs a fellow human-shaped partner. 
<laughs> what would what would fit into that? Is pseudo Wudo in that same? Pseudo Wudo is a human shape. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of. Is is he really? I mean, yeah, he's got arms and legs. I think they'd be perfect for each other. I I agree, but I don't know if the game mm. will let me. Oh, well, maybe it's mouthfeel. Maybe mouthfeel is the is the humanoid you need. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'd want to put anything in there to have to breed with pincers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a horrifying prospect <laughs> okay um looks like we're not doing it then although someone did say we get a there's an egg already in the daycare for us i'm the daycare man do you know about eggs i was raising pokemon with my wife you see we were shocked to find an egg then fine Fine, take this weird egg thing. All right. Well, we have an egg, I guess. <laughs> well, we should hatch it. We should. Wonder what's inside. Do you know how many steps it takes to hatch an egg? Uh, I don't. Throw the egg, cook the egg. Has a higher shiny rate too. One day I will see a shiny Pokemon. Oh, do you know what we, uh, you know the golden uh, shiny Gyarados that's in this game? Uh, yeah. I killed it. <laughs> you killed it? Yeah. You killed the shiny Pokemon that it hands to you? Yeah. That's okay. How did it feel? pretty good actually to be able to say I don't need it go talk to Mr. Pokemon for the EXP share that might be a good idea now where's our guy the can opener all right he's back from vacation the egg the egg can hatch into either Pichu, Alakid, Magby, Smoochum, Tyrogue, Cleffa, or Iglypuff. Really, Ooh. all of those all of those would be good, except Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a ripoff because you get a Tyrogue for free in this game. The guy just hands you one, if I'm well, not mistaken. Well, then you can get two different Tyrogues to evolve into two different things. Yeah, this is, you know. Now we're thinking... So I can have the fucking dog shittest Pokemon ever in Hitmonchan. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen... I don't know how it is in the newer games post-physical special split, but Hitmonchan in Gen 1 and 2 is shockingly ass. Like, to a degree you would never imagine a non-gimmick Pokemon being. Yeah, they're they're not great. The The one thing that I, that I really like about Hitmonchan... Uh, well, actually, I, I just kind of like it design-wise. I think it's funny. Uh, yeah. But I, what I really love is that uh, in in the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, they introduced a, a move called Upper Hand, mm -hmm. um, and it's a it's a priority move that uh, trumps other priority moves, but only if they're using a priority move. Um, and wait, 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 wait. So. So, like, if the other Pokemon is using Quick Attack, then it works and has priority. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's um, amazing. And, yeah, and uh, some players have found a way to use a Hitmon a Hitmonchan build to play Rock Paper Scissors in Pokemon because of, like, because you can use Upper Hand to trump Mach Punch, uh, and you can use Mach Punch to trump like a different move. <laughs> So you can play rock, paper, scissors with Hitmonchan. <laughs> with, with two Hitmonchans? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. God. Pokemon's great, ain't it? It's great. All right, let's go to Eckerty. Yeah, so I mentioned it's a focus punch is the other move. 
to, to complete the rock paper scissors trio. <laughs> Wait, is this? I'm trying to remember which which one is it we're trying to get to? Is it Burn Tower or a uh, Tin Tower? Isn't it like in the cave behind the gym? Uh, yeah, for the Claire thing, but we're actually going to do something different, I think. Oh, okay. Real quick. Right. Um, is this the... Chad, is this the dungeon we have to go to for our special surprise? Other northernmost building. Yeah, buddy. A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. The sound of that clear bell. It's sublime. I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. It's indicative of the bearer's soul. You, you may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please, do go on. I beg of you. <laughs> please. Please. Oh, look how... I wait, making it through Tin Tower is beat the shit out of all the other old guys in Tin Tower. Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your worthiness. Goku? What the fuck? Ooh. That's not so good. I, I genuinely can't believe, like, that Steelix has been functional. <laughs> after, after dedicating such an extreme portion of my life to yapping about how Onyx is terrible, to see Steelix do this is, it's beautiful. It's really nice to see. You love to see it? All right, get in there, fish. Professor, says Carol. Yes, is this a question? Uh... Because if it's about Pokemon, I probably can't answer it. Are we just going to the Elite Four or to Red? Oh, we're doing the whole game. We're doing we're doing Kanto plus Red. Um, the goal for today is Gym Eight, which we got. We still have to do the other part of it to get it. Suicune, and then potentially the uh, Elite Four, depending on. How long that actually takes it might take a while. I don't know if we'll have the time today for the Elite Four. We should hopefully be able to reach them though. I guess it depends on Suicune. Because I don't know. I have a lot of bad luck trying to catch legendaries. What is the actual... What's the strategy? Do you, do you know what the strategy is for roaming Pokemon? For your um, Entes and Rekus and such? I know what... Uh, I don't know what to do in this game. The way that I handled it in like later games, when you have like abilities, is to have something... I don't know, maybe like Mean Look? Is Mean Look in this game? Yes. Okay, so Mean Look works if you have a pokemon that uses that well i think that's really crobat fast like crobat them. yeah 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 crobat can trap them um that can buy you a decent amount of time before you know as long as you they don't die mm -hmm. and you can um paralyze i think uh <laughs> status conditions carry over yeah does damage carry over or just status conditions both of them do. Okay. 
remember so, correctly. Basically, as long as we don't attack with the can opener, we can be good. Because the can opener probably one shots into A. If yeah. you had to guess. Steelix craves earthquake. He loves <laughs> mud slap, though. His brain wants earthquake, his heart wants mud slap. <laughs> Who needs Earthquake when you can lower someone's accuracy? Yeah. On. I guess technically killing the Pokemon lowers their accuracy to zero. If, you know, if you think about it a certain way. Silver colored Pokemon was said to make its roost atop the brass tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze. And that is how the burn tower came to be. I hope these guys move so we can actually, like, get through. Can we talk about how they are protecting the the nest of Suicune with Noctowls? With level 32 Noctowls? I think that's very awesome on their part. It seems like they're doing a great job. Yeah. They're really weeding out all non-hackers here. We've got to get in there. What is, <laughs> is Suicune uh, pure ice type? Or is it ice water? Is it water? I don't remember. It's um, pure water. Okay. Noctowl does the night shift. Oh, well, Rocky getting some good levels out of this, though. 159 defense is outrageous. Sandstorm? Uh, Sandstorm is those, uh, one of the environmental ones, right? Uh, yeah. Is this the, did they have environmental in this? Screech versus Harden versus Sandstorm is a tough call. What are you feeling? Uh, well, it, I mean, Sandstorm is good, uh, I mean, you don't, uh, you don't have a lot of, like, steel or ground types on your team, though. So it could also hurt your team if you if you throw it up and do chip damage to yourself. Yeah, but if we get Fanfy... Yeah. Or Skarmory is also point. one we could get. What, you said Skarmory? Yeah, Skarmory is an option and Fanfy is an option for our okay, sixth yeah, spot. Okay, yeah, that's a good so. point. I mean, I'd say go for it. Yeah. Why I mean, not? Why would you want Harden? I've never used Harden a single time. It would have to yeah. be... For Harden to be worthwhile, you'd have to know, like, some... Stupid, stupid stuff. You'd have to know, like, the, the Pokemon. You'd have to have the type of knowledge I don't have. The movesets and whatnot. Mm hmm I mean, Harden's just not a great move. You, you can do without it. Yeah. Screech lowers defense by two stages, right? Or is it just one for uh, Screech? Uh, I think it lowers by two. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Man, Vaporeon's tanky. Oh, never mind. I take that back. It's never going to be be better than just hitting the other guy. I guess that's the other problem, too, with something like Harden. Just kill him. Just yeah. kill him. That solves your problem. <laughs> we, the wise trio. Um, So wise. Onyx is good, and that bites Jin too. What's up, Speedy Hawk? Um, good thing is that we have actual super speedy Pokemon on this team. Crobat, we love Crobat. This is ah, oh, this is gonna be like a whole ass dungeon. Oh, never mind. It is not a whole ass dungeon. <laughs> oh my god 
I think we might be screwed. Well, Rocky's screwed. Uh, oh, Rocky's fucked. Oh, he's so done oh, for. <laughs> Lower that accuracy, oh. please. Oh, you, you, you can take away that rain dance, though. Yes, I can. Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> What's he thinking? What is he cooking? <laughs> okay, that's actually a lot of damage. I wonder... What is this Suicune cooking up? What is going on here? Oh yeah, just slowly chip it. This actually might be bad. <laughs> what if... Okay, okay, we're good. Well, I was gonna say, what if Rocky... <laughs> Kills the sweet coon. <laughs> What's going on? Does sweet coon actually have moves? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, this is fine. He, has but... moved. he hasn't tried him yet. How does the AI in this game work, chat? Do they just randomly select moves? Like, is it just like, like RNG? If Rocky kills it, it isn't worth getting. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is happening? Yo, look at that crit. No, oh, I'm out of PP, shit. Okay, well that that should be more than enough. Yeah, we gotta get fish in here to Thunder Wave and then Watch now it break out Aurora Beam or something. Nope! Oh, what now is he's going for the bubble beam. <laughs> yeah, now the second we got the second we got water electric type out, he's going for the bubble beam. He's like, this is what I've been looking for. <laughs> I wonder if Suicune could survive a surf, but I'm not gonna find out. Okay, this is going to be one of those fights. Remember to hold B. That's right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes a difference. Yeah. Okay. No, it didn't make no. a difference. Well, maybe it did, but like under the hood differences we couldn't tell. Yeah. Gust, Bubble Beam. You know, maybe maybe there was like a, a shake there. We just couldn't perceive it with our faulty human eyes. Yeah. Oh, start it when the, the second the... Okay, okay. The the second the frame... No, Speedy, that didn't work either. Wait, I think I might have been too early, though. The second it closes. Okay, okay, I got it the second it closes. Okay. Oh! Oh! So shaking's not worth it. Do you think I should try uh, holding? Should I try holding down and B? You think? You know, maybe maybe the holding will like kind of kind of charge it like yeah. a like a crystal. <laughs> okay, We're holding still, did not no. work. Holding was worse than rocking. Yeah. Hold your very real Game Boy Color upside down. Hold on. <laughs> I will. Well, if you like. Maybe if you like take your your desktop and just like like turn it over. I have flipped my monitor upside it. down. <laughs> let's let's see if it works. Shit, this does not look right. This looks wrong. I believe. Okay, upside down monitor did not help, but right now I don't feel like fixing it. Uh I should have bought more than 30 balls, shouldn't I? Mm. Oh. Wait, turn myself upside down. Which is the upside down evolution Pokemon? Uh, Malamar? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, I'm sitting upside down now. I just turned upside down. Let's see if this works.
So now the screen looks right side up to me. Do you think that cancels it out then? I think it, I think it canceled it out. I'm gonna have to sit right back up again. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what strategies we could employ. I mean, this really is the best that it gets. Yeah. Wait. That's the that's the truth that's hard to accept. Wait, I have another thing. Okay, we've tried. I fixed the monitor. The, the monitor's back up. I'm just going to click the Ultra Ball, and I'm not going to touch any buttons. And we're just going to see what happens. We're doing an Ultra Ball cleanse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That definitely well, did not work. Yeah. Fuck. You failed. The foil is right. There's no way that works. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's because I'm using a PlayStation controller. Like that. that the game it. knows. The it game... doesn't like it. No. The game. Catch rate calculator says you have a 2.344% chance. So what the fuck? I should have bought 50. Then I would have definitely got it. Okay, but Speedy, at this point, here's the true question. Would getting its health down even more help? If you got it down, like, a little bit more. Um, like, just the tiniest bit. I don't on. think... I don't know. Surf is risky. Check this out. Okay, all right. We could even do that's one more. But that's no, probably as low you, as it you goes. don't need any more. No. This Suicune has a terrible moveset, by the way. <laughs> oh, wait, shit, no. That, this, this is wrong, because I, I, uh, I forgot to go back to rocking. The calculator doesn't yeah. change from 1% to 20%. Oh, well, if feels like my odds are better now speedy because no <laughs> they <were. laughs> uh, i wish they they need to have like a gotcha game mechanic here where the more your balls fail the more likely you are to get uh, a pity close see now that's just wrong like the other like suicune should be worn out by now I love the mechanics of catching Pokemon. One. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to watch the next one. I think somebody else... I think somebody had the idea. Um, Caldeo said, look away from the screen. That might help. Because it's, this is, if this is a cat, May doesn't want to be seen. All right, everybody look away from the screen. Oh. Dang, I heard it. How many, how many, I wonder how many jiggles we had. I think it was two. Dang. We had two jiggles. You looked. Gregster, no! Gregster and Doran both looked. <laughs> Great, there's no way we, we can't control chat. Chat is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh! oh. Uh. I'm gonna look on purpose. All right, everybody, everybody, start staring at Speedy Hawk then. <laughs> everybody, start adding Speedy Hawk in chat. <laughs> chat, we gotta lock in. We gotta lock in. Kiss Suicune on the monitor. It's the only way. Vivian, you better add Speedy Hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Is adding Speedy Hawk the key to all of this? Oh my god, it is! That's been the trick all these years? 
How? <laughs> All this time it was so simple. It was so close yet so far. We salute. Dude, why not have Suicune on the team? Oh my god, Suicune is six foot seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's horrifying. This is a dog that controls the wind and it's taller than you. <laughs> it's always in search of a pure reservoir. Just say it's in search of meat. It said H for height, Quirt. What's what what is Suicune's nickname? I mean, I think it's only fair that the speedy gets this one. <laughs> he deserves it. Yeah. Do they have uh, the at symbol here? No. No, they don't. Is is there a uh, sufficient replacement? Uh, we have enough. Some people are saying at speedy. <laughs> yeah, we have enough. We have enough space for that. Oh, Eric has the uh, has the 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 breakdown to make it good Pokemon uh, length. Nice. Yeah. At Speedy <laughs> Hawk was sent to build PC. We salute you for your service, Speedy. Awesome, too awesome even. I've never seen a battle that great. <laughs> That battle was badass, wasn't it? <laughs> that was truly inspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you were I even more incredible, Bunker. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it summons a rainbow Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, but when on a day will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends even more. I wish we could get Ho-Oh on the team. Later, Bakker. I like how the old wise men showed up just to confusedly stare around. <laughs> they didn't even say nothing. Yes, a steel snake throwing mud at a dog's face and then 20 balls. I have never seen something more incredible. <laughs> Catching Entei and Raikou isn't going to be easy, by the way. You know, I would say we aren't going to do it, but I did catch all the legendary trio in uh, red and blue. I don't know if I've ever actually caught a roaming Pokemon in my life. I never caught Latios or Latias. You know, because I feel like that's just, just stupid. Not counting Omega Ruby and uh, Omega Sapphire where they just hand it to you. Oh, yeah, because aren't Latios and Latias like your your personal airplane? Yeah. Cool. You you get them as, uh, as airplane. They are both uh, Sid and Jagan. If we're going to go cross franchise references here um, I, uh, I really appreciate that yeah well we gotta go complete the dragon cave <clears throat> oh that's right that was a thing yeah that we were that we were told to do <gasps> I, I can't, wait I just I don't know what we have to do but I think it would diegetically be funny to do this this guy looks like he wants to give us something deep inside is the Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers around the country. That's so weird to call Johto a country. It feels wrong. <laughs> the best trainers from around the country. Um, this isn't a real place. <laughs> this is fake, bruh. We'll put... Um, you need Whirlpool. I despise roaming legendaries. How many is is Cresselia also a roaming legendary in Gen Four? 
No, you uh, you find it on an island. Is wait, yeah, okay, because Cresselli is not a mythical either. Oh yeah, maybe it is a roaming one. Yeah, I forgot. You find it on an island, then you have to chase it around. Yeah. Mythical Pokemon, I'm gonna be honest, they got overdone. I dropped with them after Gen 5. They used to be actually, back in the day, they used to really be mythical when Nintendo would just forget to release them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just find someone with one like hacked under their cartridge even though there hasn't been an event for one yet. Like that's real mythical shit. <laughs> Okay, so remember, Claire's whole thing was that we weren't actually ready. What's Claire going to say when we show up with Suicune? <laughs> I think I'm ready now, Claire. <laughs> I don't think you're a real Pokemon trainer yet. Oh, yeah, I can control the wind. My dog does it for me. <laughs> Try this one. <laughs> Dragon's Den. Oh shit. You! How dare you enter uninvited? When he sees the first Pokemon to come out, I th I think he's gonna realize. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, you can you can come in. Because it's it's Darren the Flash. We have no moves to actually handle this problem. <laughs> uh Looks like we're going to be switch training Suicune for the time being. Oh yeah, that's right, because you don't have moves. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who all the mythicals are, because it goes Mew, Celebi, then there's Jirachi, and Deoxys. So they like doubled up. And then Jinjo, yeah, there's right. Darkrai. And isn't there another mythical, like Manaphy or something in Gen 4? Yeah. Yeah. You uh, you could get Manaphy by playing all the way through Pokemon Ranger and getting a Manaphy egg that you transfer to your other Pokemon game. You know, I'm going to be honest. I kind of liked all that dumb, stupid bullshit. I did, too. I did all that. Yeah. <clears throat> people, uh, I people... think someone also mentioned the, uh, the, Keldi the McDonald's Keldeo. Wait, what? I, I, I guess there was a, like, McDonald's event Keldeo. I don't know if you remember. I think they were, like, from Gen 5. Oh, my God. And there was also, you could get, you could get the toy in your Happy Meal. <laughs> also, you didn't have to go to McDonald's. You could change your home Wi-Fi name to McDonald's Wi-Fi and it <laughs> no there's no way caldeo you're making that up right like there's no way you could you could get around it by <laughs> calling your shit mcdonald's wi-fi no <laughs> i've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life okay can you do a can you do a Cerebi check for us? Yes, absolutely. What do you need to uh, know? You, I, and chat need to know what Suicune's learn set is. And because at level 40, there's probably not a whole lot left to look forward to. But True. we need to we need to figure something out to fix this crappy moveset. Well well you got TMs, don't you? Yeah. You know, if you're going to use your TMs on anyone, you might as well use it on a Suicune. Yeah, but what is Suicune's level up set? So, I'm going to see. Uh, so, the level 40 right now, uh, at level 41, they learn Bubble Beam. Uh, is but this Gen you could 2? also just give them Surf. Well, they already have Bubble Beam. Are you on the Gen 2 page, or? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, maybe, maybe the levels are just off. Um. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, so at level 41, they learn Aurora Beam. Okay, never mind. Get him back into the first slot. We gotta get <laughs> Aurora Beam's like a psycho, insane uh, ice move, right? Uh, I mean, it's not insane, but it's it's 65 base power. It's not bad. I mean, 
65 it's base power. It's very workable for a very defensive Pokemon like Suicune. 65 base power ice move being shot out of a Suicune is probably pretty good. Yeah. Wait, what does the sign say? Dragon Shrine. I think someone also said in chat that we need, um... Yeah, we're gonna need Whirlpool here, and I think... I think that's a job for Suicune. Do you know what Whirlpool's uh, statistics are? Mm. Like how much damage it does? Yeah. I don't know exactly how much damage. I think it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marcus... Sure. <clears throat> Marcus it's base King. power is like super low it's just 15 mm. ah. and it's 70% accurate yeah Marcus and King K are saying Whirlpool's bad 15 sounds bad oh is Whirlpool one of those ones like rap where it like traps you yeah it's a trapping move yeah so it's just shitty poison basically okay so what about bubble beam versus surf because we're gonna have to just and waterfall oh my god this is gonna suck Because what we only need Whirlpool to actually get into Dragon's Den and the Whirlpool Isles, I think. So we'll get rid of Leer. Waterfall is going to be a problem. Should Surf replace Bubble Beam? Uh, yeah, definitely. What is Surf's base power actually? It's, I think it's like 90, 95. In Gen 2? Even in Gen 2. 95? Bubble Beam's like 65. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, it's just better. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because this is Gen 2, I don't know. I like how we're fixing Suicune's moveset with HMs. <laughs> This is outrageous. This is just the way that like all water moves were for so long. Can we talk about how there's like six year olds in the Dragon's Den, the place we were not allowed to go to uninvited just with level 35 Dratinis? This is horrifying. Oh, yeah, because um, they're cooler than you. Yeah, they are. Just like Cool Trainer. Um, What was... uh? Oh my god. I know it's not going to do anything, but that still goes hard. That does go pretty hard. I'm going to be honest. I love Metronome. I love using Metronome. I think it's super fun to use. Yeah. It's so... It's such a blast to, like... The reason why I started thinking about it with that Dratini was because when I played this game when I was, like, up 10... Uh, I used the Togepi um, in Togetic or whatever and used Metronome the whole game. And I would love it when like something like Flamethrower would just come out and it was so crazy. Yeah. It was so much fun. Um, just got here. What is up with that Suicune name? We named the Suicune at Speedy Hawk because we were only able to catch the Suicune on like our 20th ball attempt. Uh, when everyone started adding Speedy Hawk in chat, so we we had to honor honor it's uh the history here. Getting a level forty one is gonna be a pain in the ass because all Suicune's gonna do is keep winning. Uh, I want to get this max elixir, so give that escape rope to Suicune.
Where is the move deleter? That's a good question. <laughs> now, because I would like to get rid of Whirlpool now and replace it with Waterfall. <laughs> the much better move. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. Uh, only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Pal, underling, and friend. What is the difference between pal and friend in this instance? I feel like it's got to be... I guess it wants to give you options. <laughs> it's got to be friend, right? Because I, I feel like that's a... Because friend is like power of friendship. That's like anime. Oh, I understand. What helps you win battles? Strategy, racing, and cheating. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I hope this guy does not find out how he got Steelix. <laughs> what if he checked for the universal Pokemon randomizer? <laughs> does he know? <laughs> oh, it's got to be racing, right? Is what he wants. But yes. Yeah. Does he know? <laughs> What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Weak person, tough person, anybody. It's got to be anybody, right? We love everyone. Right. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Love, violence. <laughs> I love how, like, you can just... I love how they have just all these obviously wrong things. It's love. Which is more important? Tough. Both. Weak. Okay, but what if it's... I mean, the answer's tough, but, like, what What if that's because I think all Pokemon are tough? That conviction is what is important. Bakker, what do you think Claire's gonna feel when she finds out that the only reason we get the badge is because of power of friendship? You passed. Chat, what happens if you fail? Do you have to take it again? Do they, like, just lecture you? If we, like, if we didn't get the right score on the test, like, can we can we apply to the SAT to take it again? Yeah, do we have to come back, like, the next week? <laughs> Even I haven't been approved. What? These are the most Mickey Mouse-ass questions. I'm sorry, Claire. This is on you. <laughs> Must I inform Lance of this? I, I understand. Hurry up. Take it. Was this Crystal exclusive? I don't remember this at all. I remember this. And I've only played Silver before this. This was definitely in the games previously. Pal is like friend, but for European relationships. Europeans playing Pokemon Crystal, failing the test over and over again. It's only in Crystal, but it was in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Okay, that's why. That's why I remember it. I'm not gaslighting Speedy. I'm gaslighting me. That's different. Reflect on what you lack and this child has. Holy shit. <laughs> that's a wild thing to say. <laughs> this is so hateful. dragon breath oh, no it does nice. have it doesn't have anything to do with my breath if you don't want it <laughs> you don't have to take it what's the matter aren't you i like how that implies that our silent protagonist did just make a claire breath comment that we couldn't hear <laughs> do you know how to get there from here go to new bark town then surf east to pokemon league the route there is very tough don't dare lose at the pokemon league if you do i'll feel even worse about having lost to you give it everything you've got All right. Well, we can fly straight back to New Bark Town. Um, and then just go for it and skip the whole route below us. Probably what right. I'll do. Just to save some time. I don't know if there's a whole lot of reason to do the route down below. I know it's where you get Skarmory. I know you get Skarmory directly south of Black oh, Okay, so that's, that's Skarmory and that's... I think that's also where Gligar is. Yeah, 
Gligar is some dog shit. Gligar is some dog shit. <laughs> I think Gligar was the example you pulled when I was like telling you when I sent you like the the super sneak preview graphs for Gen 2. And uh -huh. you like looked at like you your eyes immediately looked for the uh shittiest dot on the graph and were like, that's Gligar, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> the dragon Gligar's thing. So bad. But it's, it's it's so cool. I don't care. We make it work, is what you're saying? Yeah, well, d dude's a, a flying scorpion. He's a, a ground flying type. I don't know. The, he, he's dumb, but I love him. Oh, wait. You know what solves our whole grind for Aurora Beam problem? Here, have a rare candy. I assume we get rid of Gust. Like that shit's like whack. I'm trying to see what else is on that like route that we're going to. Is that the one directly south of Blackthorn? Yeah, do you know which one it is? Uh, let me pull up the map. It is... Oh, going the wrong way. Route 45 and Route 46. 45 and 46, okay. 45 is going to be the better stuff, probably, because I think 46 is the one you can reach at the beginning of the game. Yeah. So 45 is where, like, Skarmory and shit are. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, so Crystal... Yeah, there's Skarmory... Donphan and Gligar. Are Gligar, all you say? Now, yeah, <laughs> we love Gligar. Gligar? Yes, Gligar. Please, Gligar. We heard you sell Gligar here. <laughs> the Skarmory is always MVP. We all love Skarmory in this yeah. house. Could you swing by my lab? Yeah, I like Skarmory too, um, but I don't know. We've in, we've invested a um, a rare candy in Suicune, so I think that means we have to use it forever now. Yeah, I mean that's that's how it works. Well, if uh. you if you just use Suicune forever, then like. If you don't use Speed Coon forever, then you wasted that one rare candy. Yeah. And it's rare. We can't oh, yeah. just get more. We're going to deposit Sweet There's Coon. only so many. And then. Because Sweet Coon, I think, for now, does not need all the, the levels. You could just bench the egg. Yeah, but I got to hatch the egg, right? You gotta hatch the egg. Actually, wait, we need to take Suicune to the uh, move to leader first <laughs> to get rid of that crap um, whirlpool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to. I need to clear out my items. Right, if we wanted to make. Uh, Gligar good, what would we do? What would what would be the game plan? I I don't know. I, I let me just look at its moveset just to see what it gets. I I don't have a lot of confidence <laughs> that anything can be done here. Uh, if you if you don't care about quality at all, um, Gligar learns gu Guillotine at level 52. <laughs> guillotine is uh, one of those one-hit kill moves, but with like 30% yeah. accuracy. 
So here's what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. Here's what we do. Here's the strap. Okay. Three mm -hmm. X accuracies. Guillotine sweep. Guillotine sweep. That's how that works, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you well, if you get attack on your on your guillotines, then that means you're just one hit KOing them harder. Hmm. Yeah, That's so big. like you know, buy those X accuracies, dude. Where's your money? I'm also noticing that Gligar doesn't learn any stab moves by level up. That uh, slash is the best move that it learns. Well slash is pretty good, isn't it? Slash is okay, but you can't deal any super effective damage with it. Well Gligar's what? Moves. What is Gligar? Poison type? Poison flying? Uh it's ground flying. Gr yeah, and that sucks because you would ground Which, flying. Which like it's a great typing for a Pokemon to have. Yeah. It's just dude can't do anything. I would love to have some ground moves on a Gligar. Uh, if you want some ground moves, then Don fans right there. It Dark actually cave. learns them. Dark cave. Ooh, fun. Um. We, we could go on this route, I think, for now. Let's actually... Because to get to the Elite Four, we have to go to New Bark Town. Let's go straight back to New Bark Town. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> suckers. All those idiots that are going to be hanging out on that route. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Oh, thanks, just in time. <laughs> Well, that solves one of the um, roaming Pokemon. And if we find a missing note, we can solve all the others, too. Are you ready to set sail for Kanto? Oh, are you, like... We're, you have to go this way to get to the Elite Four. Oh, yeah, that's it's right. it's Kanto, technically, I think. Yeah, okay, um, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh do you okay, once once the egg is out of the party, who who else like is in your party? Rocky. Okay, yeah, Rocky needs to still be there. I think your team with Rocky and everyone here is <laughs> looks beautiful. Look at the description of Master Paul. The best ball in never misses <laughs> that goes hard um <laughs> the best ball my ball never misses what do we need to do actually I just realized we need to do something before we go to the Elite Four, which is uh, go back to Blackthorn and buy repels so that I don't get sick to my stomach on Victor Hero. <laughs> Fighting level 12 Zubats on the way to the Elite Four. Because I'm that person, I kill all the wild Pokemon. I'm the same way. Yeah. I feel like, I, I, I'm not going to say the game's balanced around you doing that but I feel like a lot of the problems like grinding before the Elite Four just kind of goes away if you pick up those just extra levels across the game and you spread them out like that I think so too makes my life a lot easier anyways good thing we have the best ball now <laughs> it never misses there's no other ball for us no uh, chat. You know, that's the uh, that's the other really good strategy for uh, roaming Pokemon is throw a Master Ball and yeah. you don't have to deal with it ever again. <laughs> um, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. That's why Gmark sure was all caps. Do you know what you just did? I was trying to ignore the all caps. Do you know what you just did? Originally, because I thought I fucked up, so I was going to pretend the problem didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, Kanto. Check that out. We got um, Pilot Town coming up. 
And then all the others, the classics. Tojo Falls, the link between Kanto and Johto. Do we have to go through that? Or do we keep going west? Or east? Whichever direction. I think this is where... How much did you miss Becklin? Asks Becklin. You missed catching Suicune and the 8th gym. Um, cannot recommend the Suicune catch saga enough. It's the first time I've ever turned my computer monitor upside down. Speedy Hawk learned waterfall. <laughs> I love that animation. Okay, that was that was cool. Where are you off to with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trusts you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Hey. I wonder what that is. Happens to be... Oh, we already got that move! That sucks. <laughs> it's for advanced I trainers. Need another TM to hoard. I don't need to use it. Okay, how do you feel about this? It's for advanced trainers only. <laughs> use it if you dare. Good luck. <laughs> I feel like she's just telling kids, like, you're not good enough to use this, probably. You suck ass. Go home, kid. Well, isn't that nice? Our very first Pokemon on our way in the Kanto is Bulbasaur. That's, that's sweet. That is really cute. I do. Now, it is very funny that it's a level 32 Bulbasaur. Now, diegetically, this trainer getting anything out of a level 32 Bulbasaur? Like, any early move kind of good good early moves you'd want to delay? Is that something you've ever bothered looking into, delaying evolution to get moves earlier? It's sometimes. Yeah. I've yeah. done it I mean, just if it's, like... Just if it makes things easier and, like, I don't have to grind up until like level 40 or 50 for a certain move. Yeah, especially if it's a Pokemon that's just good and is already like kind of handling shit anyway. It's not a big deal. Yeah. <clears throat> another another weird case I can think of is with like Breloom. Uh, Breloom learns Spore, but for whatever reason it only learns Spore if you learn it as a Shroomish hmm. at level 40. Huh. And is there a Spore TM? No. Okay, so you just gotta... That's nah, one where you, you, gotta you just gotta... That spore. Well, that was a Venusaur. I don't want to know what's... Or an Ivysaur. I'm, I can guess what's next. Alright, yeah. Can, can opener's gotta get out of there. I think. <laughs> For Victor. Jesus. Wide Venusaur. <clears throat> Hopefully this deletes. Uh... No, Crobat! You were supposed to be good! <laughs> I think I put all my That's antidotes so away, so poor can opener may pass away on this on this drive. I'm not sure if we get an opportunity to heal before um uh, the Elite Four or before Victory Road, I should say. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. You look pretty strong. Right, I, re I recall there being trainers with like Pokemon in like level the level 20s heading into the Elite Four. Let's see what Blake has. 
There's no way this guy won beat the Elite Four, is there? Oh, shit. Is Ice... I mean, if you did with level 33 Magneton... Our Pokemon, against, our Pokemon against Magneton is usually Rocky, but he's retired for... Uh, he's being replaced by Egg. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if... We, you know what? I made fun of this guy. I was like, no way he beat the Elite Four. I guess we'll find out. Oh, shit. I'm just banking on uh, Aurora Beam doing something. Oh. Steel resists ice? Is that like a new invention? Or has that always been a thing? That's always been a thing. Oh my god. We might not have an answer for this. <laughs> Goodbye. Suicune's first real battle. Killed. Yeah, I agree, Chris. This guy could have beat the Elite Four, but then he uh, used Screech on us. <laughs> yeah, but he's got a Steel type. He knows how to take down those three Dragonites. Yeah. I can't believe that the champion of this game has three Dragonites. This is so outrageous. Kind of magical, in a way. Yeah. It feels like just a consequence of the fact that this game... Well, okay... We, we talked about it. It did introduce Kingdra as a new dragon type. But it, it feels like a consequence of this game not really adding a lot of new Pokemon. Well, I was looking at when I was like digging through the, the numbers and, it, and it's weird, right? Because Gen 2 exists in this weird time. So like nothing is standard yet. Except for like the 8 gym structure. So like you know, the question is, okay, you introduce new Pokemon. How do you use the new Pokemon? What are the expectations for gym leaders? What are gym leaders there to do? You know, and how do we kind of factor in, like, you know, should gym leaders... If you look at, like, Gen 2 and Gen 3, the big difference between them with their gyms is that um, only seven of the 13 major boss fights in this game feature a Gen 2 Pokemon as its ace. All but mm. one in Ruby and Sapphire feature a Gen 3 Pokemon as their ace. Watson is the only one that doesn't in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, his entire team got, like, changed between Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald because his team is, like, boring as shit in Ruby, Sapphire. It's, like, Magnemite really and Magneton and a Voltorb. <laughs> um, it doesn't even get into Manectric, and that's, no. like... Best Pokemon. Yeah, the they, they had to fix that for him in a, an old emerald. But <laughs> these enemies are actually kind of big level. I don't know what people was talking about or why my brain thought I remembered them being worse. Um, ooh, Slash is tough. So, you know, it is a, it is a, a question like, you know, what, what, what should the expectation be? It is weird, though, because there are, um, if you look at just the first eight gym leaders of the game, uh, there are only four Gen 2 Pokemon featured in the entirety of Johto's eight gyms. Um, Piloswine, Kingdra, uh, Miltank. And Steelix. There are. Yeah. No, sorry, go on. Yeah, okay, so there's four Gen 2 Pokemon in the entirety of uh, the Johto gym rosters. There are four Pokemon in the Johto gym rosters that are just in the ghastly line. <laughs> <laughs> because Morty by himself uses Ghastly Haunter Haunter Gengar <laughs> so there's many Ghastlies as there are Gen 2 Pokemon um, and I don't know it's weird right because so many people hate that 
on one hand, it like doesn't matter at all because really what what's the actual change, right? It just changes the, like the JPEG GIF thing that you kill with the exact same move doing the exact same thing you would otherwise be doing. At the same time, I do like the mythologizing that gyms do to Pokemon. It's really cool. Like when a Pokemon is an ace of a gym, it gets like a, it's got an appeal to it, right? Yeah. Like you start to associate that Pokemon with like, oh, that gym. That starts to be like a tough motherfucker that you want to go find somewhere else. Even if you beat it up, I'm thinking like Nose Pass, Gen 3. You know, Nose Pass yeah, yeah. is kind of a dumb Pokemon, but like it kind of gets, it's like a brain worm. It gets stuck in there and you're like, oh, I want to see what that is. I want to yeah, find it's, one it's still something tough that you have to deal with. Yeah. Giraffe rig. What what type is giraffe rig? It's normal psychic. Normal psych. Okay, so I should leave Victor in. I always think it's steel because I always confuse. I always associate it with Mawile. Because two Pokemon that have uh, ass face teeth. That's a pretty small category, but I, yeah. I see what you mean. You see the vision. <laughs> uh. So, like, you know, does it does it really matter that that Faulkner is using a um, a Pidgeotto instead of a like a Noctowl? You know, gameplay wise, it doesn't. But in terms of just like, I think the cool factor. To like kind of get it into your brain the noctowl would just kind of be cooler even though you'd kill it the same way with the same moves doing the same thing yeah like it'd at least be cooler if there was like a it's you know you had to fight a slightly stronger version of a pokemon you usually wouldn't think about yeah well and it's yeah. weird i think the weird one is like bugsy because bugsy because if the idea is that Gen 2 Pokemon are too weak, two of Bugsy's Pokemons are a Metapod and a Kakuna. <laughs> Which are, are... Would those be the two, by base stat total, are those the two weakest Pokemon that have ever been used as Gym Pokemon? Because their base stats are like 200 in total. I don't know if that's like certain, but I mean, that's, that's gotta be down there. Yeah. I don't know what could be weaker. All right, get in there, Victor. You've got this. I'm sure. I, I believe in Victor. I mean, Victor's got the stomp. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Dude just eats stab moves for breakfast. Yeah, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's going to get this flinch. It doesn't matter. He doesn't care. He's doesn't showing matter. off, guys. I don't even need to flinch him. I'll just eat it. You don't even have to care. Oh, he got crit? Oh, well, okay. Maybe he did. Well, Crits yeah. aren't fun. Sometimes, sometimes it goes bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Heracross would be a lame Pokemon for Chuck to use. I mean, Chuck's party sucked. I killed it in two clicks. Primeape and, and Polyrath. It was lame. That was the shittiest gym fight. Is Chuck. Fighting type gym should have more than two Pokemon. That could just... Like... It's literally just a Hitmonchan and a Hitmonlee, right? Uh, no, 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 that's the, um, that's the Gen 1 fighting dojo. Chuck is the fifth gym leader in this game. He has a Primeape and a Polyrath. <laughs> and Victor one-shot both of them with wing attack. Because <laughs> he's just like that. He's just like that. He doesn't have to care. No, he doesn't.
Oh, look at fish. Bugsy is too early for hair cross. I'd have given Bugsy Sizor. I don't give a fuck. I don't care, second gym. Let Bugsy oh, yeah, eat. Gre Grexer also mentioned that there isn't a single person there, there isn't a single trainer in the entire game oh, that yeah, uses hair cross. They're all missing out. <laughs> it's like they all just didn't look in the trees and do do the headbutting challenge and now how did you nobody, have a can opener. How did nobody else in this game how how do more trainers in the Pokemon Johto world have a sweet coon in their party than a Heracross? I guess it's <laughs> technically the same amount because I'm counting myself, but if we didn't have the can opener. Oh yeah, Sizor would die the exact same way. It's just, it would just be like, it's aesthetic. And the aesthetics matter. The aesthetics really matter in Pokemon. It's really all Pokemon has going for it, kind of. <laughs> Especially in the old days. Yeah. Because nowadays, nowadays really it has competitive going for it. <laughs> That's what it has going for it now. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I think the... I honestly really like the aesthetic of, like, Sword and Shield. Maybe I'm more alone in that opinion than I think. But I, I think those games genuinely look good. I think for me, I haven't played Sword and Shield recently enough. Scarlet and Violet are just so comically ugly. Because... Yeah. There, there are so many times where the camera just doesn't even fit both the Pokemon that are fighting on the screen. <laughs> it's like, why is this a problem? Why can I not see my Godzilla Pokemon it's, right someone, now? Someone came up with the idea to put the camera just anywhere around the environment, and it was a bad idea. <laughs> like, I, I've had so many times where, like, the camera just, like, clips underneath a, underneath a texture or inside something. Court says I crave the sword and shield menus. Sword and shield menus were peak. Sword and shield locking. Peak menu design. Sword and shield locking, editing your audio levels behind an NPC will always be one of my favorite weird things <laughs> it's in a so Pokemon weird. game. Like, okay, I know on paper, yeah, that's actually a horrible design decision to make, but it's also so weird. Yeah. Uh, I used a third-party program to help me find Heracross. I completely forgot we needed a third-party program to fight Heracross. <laughs> now, hold on. Wait, can somebody do a Cerebi check in chat? Um, does any Gen 4 trainer use a Munchlax? I want to know who the tryhards are in the Gen 4 NPC roster. Because people definitely are out there using... Uh, Feebass and Milotic in Gen 4 and 3. Your rival has a Munchlax. Barry. Of course Barry's a fucking tryhard. <laughs> Bopper, did I play Legends Arceus? I played about 10 hours of Legends Arceus. Did you play Legends Arceus at all? I have. I've played a good bit of it. Um, I've, I've enjoyed it. I'm glad that it's it is considered a part of the main series. It like at least tells me that Game Freak is trying to diversify what the series exactly is. And it's it's a fun time. I don't know, what would, uh, what what did you think of it with the time you spent? I really liked the ten hours I spent with it. I'm not gonna say like I burned out on it, although I did get kind of not necessarily bored, but after about ten hours and it was like I was like, okay, I've seen it, and then I just sort of faded off from it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's still fun though, you know. Uh, yeah, still, still, still a fun thing. Definitely. Uh, if you're gonna iterate on something, a, a, if a Pokemon spinoff out there needs a sequel, I think that's one that would benefit from it. Not because Legends Arceus is bad, but because I think if you really iterated on that concept, you could do some crazy cool stuff. Can opener is dead. We're gonna keep going. All right, Pete. We have 53 HP to work with. I think we can maybe get a little further before I get obliterated. Look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? This is the first time... You have time... to be satisfied when I beat your ass. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he's got an Espeon. That's this, guy's... this guy's got himself a nice little Pokemon here. 
I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Never mind, he went for the quick attack. And we're tanky and chunky. Oh, oh my god. Uh. Why is there TM discourse happening in my chat? <laughs> my favorite form I don't of TM. People got feelings TM. about the the different TM systems. My personal favorite will always be forgeable TMs. That mm, you know, ha <laughs> having to having to get upgrade materials to make TMs. It, it's I, I'm just gonna say it, it's not it. Uh, I'll say this about it is that I think from a single player experience single use TMs are probably better if you can break somebody out of the hoarding habit because of competitive I think that reusable ones just for the health of Pokemon as a series um, and as a competitive scene probably better makes it a lot more accessible um, they've really done a lot of great things, I think, to make competitive more accessible uh, over the last several generations. Forgeable TMs is a, is the type of, like, mealy mouth middle ground that is the worst idea ever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of having to, like, grind out materials for TMs, whether that's from, like, a single player or competitive experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's fine just having reusable TMs that, like, you know, you have to pay money for, probably. You know, I like the fact that TMs are reusable but expensive because of that at least restricts their accessibility for the single player. Yeah. You know, like, if you really want to, like, you can grind up the money to buy all the TMs and give everyone, like, Blizzard and whatever. Mm -hmm. And you could argue that's overpowered and like that's fine you have to put a significant amount of investment to get to that point yeah well it's overpowered and i don't think it's i don't think it's necessarily more overpowered than like once you once you have earthquake on one you know earthquake would probably be where like the worst example because earthquake you could put earthquake on a bunch of pokemon and it's yeah it's so good um yeah but pokemon, that's also why pokemon's i, I kind of like what sword and shield does because like all the really powerful like TMs and stuff are uh, are single use, but you can get multiples of them. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get those multiples, but like it, you can do it. Yeah. Um. To be fair, <laughs> most TMs are dog shit anyway. It's like, who cares? Yeah, it, That's yeah. the other thing. Um. <laughs> I am a I am an anti forging. Stan, I am against forging in most contexts. I I hate to be that guy though. One game where I did like the forging system, Zelda Ring. I feel like a parody it's of myself for saying like that. It. it. It really is hard not to. It's so good. Um, you can you can make pots and yeah, throw them at people. The, the pot system is, is so good. Um, See, I, I think crafting and I think crafting systems are cool when they allow you to access things that you would otherwise wouldn't be able to do and it's not just oh gather some sticks to go make this thing that you need uh huh the um well I just got done beating Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and it has a crafting system that is exactly that because you pick up just stupid bullshit in the overworld to craft potions, but like you, do, you never need potions. So the only reason you use the crafting is to level up your crafting ability. Because the higher your crafting level, the more rare and powerful things you can craft. So then you craft the powerful and rare things, but it just opens up potion, high potion, all the regular items that you can just buy anyway. But you don't need them anyway because the game is either so easy or floods you with so many resources that you end the game with two hundred thousand dollars and a hundred mega potions you've never used. <laughs> yeah, like if the crafting is just feeding into like another system that you aren't engaging with, then yeah. like crafting is kind of bunk. And it's kind of just an excuse for the 
you know, Game Desire is not finding another way to, like, actually give you the resources you need. Yeah. I, I like crafting in, in games where resources are all, like, really limited. I actually like it in The Last of Us a lot because your carrying capacity is really low and all the stuff you can craft is, like, mutually exclusive. They, they, they pull from overlapping resource piles. So mm -hmm. you're... You really have to, like, you know, you make a med kit, you're out some extra firepower. And, you know, if you get the offensive stuff, then you're out healing. You better play perfectly. So. Right, yeah. But playing perfectly is easier now. About... Yeah. Oh, sorry, what'd you say? I was just saying, but playing perfectly is easier because you've, you know, forged some really strong stuff. So. Wow. Yeah. The healing was right after that. Yeah, and like that's also that scarce amount of inventory is forcing you to make gameplay decisions that you otherwise wouldn't. Yeah, you know that's that's pushing you to play the game a certain way. That's cool. I well, like that it is... when gamers do that. Yeah, although I will say I did end up using most of my items in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth because <laughs> when I got to the point of being like, "Wow, I might need, th I won't, I literally won't need this later. I'm on the final boss. Let me start using my X potions and." my giga mist potions and all my crazy stuff that i only have like four or five of what i didn't know at the time when i started was that i was embarking into a 12 phase final boss <laughs> no <laughs> so then by the end i was like no i needed it later where did it go <laughs> the whole time i did need it later <laughs> just <laughs> i'm just pounding the table like i need my Giga Mist potions back, but I'm not gonna redo three hours worth of final boss. <laughs> Finally, a game where hoarding is correct. The game's fucked up though, because potions heal 350 HP, which sounds good, except you realize your starting HP is like 3000, so it's like, yeah, that's what I want to use. <laughs> that's what I want to use at my action economy for is healing 10% of my health <laughs> oh, I gotta take a turn to uh, bandage my open wound I am uh, I got a first aid kit give me a second yeah. well it, you, using a potion in that game sort of feels like I don't know if you had this experience when you first played through the Dark Souls uh, games but I remember when I first played Dark Souls 3, I did not realize that the uh, the bone ash or whatever was what you used to power up your healing. So I was like uh -huh. two thirds of the way through the game without powered up Estus. <laughs> so I was like, damn, I got to chug like three of these. <laughs> because you you know the way I like to make my HP bars in Dark Souls. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was having well, to hit three. You do it the right way. I do. I had to hit like three of those Estus flasks to... You, you were secretly doing a challenge run. Yeah. I never knew. <laughs> uh, what's up, Nin? Imagine potions are limited and also crafting materials for offensive items. Yeah, that's what Rebirth does. It doesn't matter, though. Because by the time I picked up my 99th bunch of Sage and they won't let me take any more, it's like, who cares? Because I don't need Sage. I don't need herbs and spices. Okay, I didn't realize you still got hurt by rap when you were flying. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's funny. Victory Bell to me is like the scariest Pokemon of like the old school Gen 1 ones. Like I would not it's want that to exist in real life. <laughs> I want the giant pitcher plant. <laughs> I want the I giant want mouth with teeth. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Oh, no. Kingler's cool. 
I've never used it, although apparently Kingler's really good in Gen 1 because you can put guillotine on it. And I think X accuracies are glitched in Gen 1 where it makes everything bypass uh, the, the, the accuracy check just completely. Oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> so guillotine becomes 100% or... Um, something i don't remember if that's actually what happens but okay so, so you can just give him an x accuracy and go is this just guillotine just chop him up <laughs> yeah too bad there's no quick claw in that game <laughs> crab hammer is a 100 percent crit move in gen one <laughs> Is part of that because Kingler is is fast, or is that just bugged? I think Karate Chop is also a hundred percent. I'm not sure what the. It's so hard to tell in in Gen One, like what's a bug and what's not for someone that can't read the code, because, um, just because they would never make a game like that again. So you've got like the fog of history, you know, like we look at the direction they went. So like, was this intentional? Was this not? Um, the fact that they changed it immediately, does that mean anything? I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> tying speed to crits was a decision and mm, I, like I, I like it. I like it. G Mark is saying that, uh, crit rate is a hundred percent. If your base speed is over 65, 65 is barely anything, right? But is that just with like high crit moves, like crab hammer, karate chop, and I don't know what other high crit moves there are. I would guess that oh, yeah, just high crit moves. I would guess that tying crit to speed was had to be to some degree intentional, right? Because there were some Pokemon where speed is all that they have, but speed, speed in Pokemon is like a binary stat you either have it or you don't as far as each individual matchup there's not a whole lot going yeah. on behind the scenes you're either faster or you're slower mm. it's not like there's a range that you're operating in right yeah so it's the only thing that made electrode worth using <laughs> imagine yeah, if you could crit with self-destruct i mean maybe it's just uh like a decision to just make it easier if you're level grinding. You mm -hmm. just give you more crits. Yeah. Just like from from a single player perspective. Yeah, I need to uh I need to try like a self destruct electrode build at le at some point. Alright, we just beat Jake the body, Jake. Batissimo. Batissimo. Okay. I think we're about to Victory Road. I think this is... It's I th here? I think... Ah, uh, well, we gotta get accosted one more time. <laughs> I lost to a trainer named Cowboy. He was really strong, but it was as if he had abso absolutely had to win at all costs. I mean, this is you in the Battle Tower, right? <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's me trying to beat the Battle Tower. Dang... Wait, have you beaten the Battle Tower in uh, in a, in the Diamond and Pearl remakes ever? Or are you working uh, on it for I've the first time? I've done it once, time? yeah. Like, does it require... I mean, I don't know. I've never really tried the Battle Towers. Like, I assume they require some serious skill. Like, they are for advanced gamers only, like the like Sandstorm TM. It, uh, it requires a lot of patience. Uh... I mean, I think for one, like, yeah, you have to... What is it? Like, you have to be able to construct a team that you know can take on whatever is there. But there's a lot of, like, just randomness to it. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you have to do, like, multiple battles over and over in a row, and that, like, you just have to win all of them without losing the RNG. It's... It's a tough time. Mm -hmm. It is oh. fun, though. 
The eight badges of Johto, please go right on through. And then I think this is Mount Silver, so that's where we go for our uh, super boss. And then this is post game over here. The Elite Four is so strong, it's scary, and they're ready for you. <laughs> oh shit, it is Victory Road. A little part of me was like hoping there was no Victory Road. We were just going to get dropped right in front of the Elite Four, because I'm ready to fight them. I want to fight them so bad. You're right uh, there. Which, um... Is this the first Battle Tower you've done, or did you do the Gen 3 one? I've heard the Gen 3 one is outrageous. Well, yeah, because, uh... Because in Gen 3, you got the you got the whole battlefront here. Uh, I, I've heard of stuff. I've never done the like the Gen 3 battle tower. I know people have like flipped the fuck out over the the remakes not having the battle frontier, which fair probably. Um, it, it's a pretty sad thing to not include because it's already like you you have it. I know Pokemon has changed quite a bit in, in those since Gen 3, but it's... Because is well, Battle Frontier locked to Emerald? It's it's in Emerald. I think it's... Yeah, there's like a version of it in Platinum. Uh, and I don't... I don't know like what other teams have... What other games have something similar to that. Mm -hmm. uh, it is like a really cool concept that they never really did again after mm -hmm. that. You know, this idea of having like different places to go to where like they had different battle formats that were just structured in strange ways mm -hmm. like you know there was the there was the battle tower but you could also go to the battle factory Ooh, where the battle factory you know, you're, you're, yeah so there you're doing it all with like rental pokemon mm. now that is um, fun yeah there was like a weird adventure one in emerald where you'd like go like it was basically a dungeon crawling challenge. You'd go through this, like, pyramid. Hmm. Uh, there was one where you went into, like, a giant Viper that was the building, and it just gave you a bunch of debuffs and weird <laughs> stuff, and you had to deal with the randomness of that to win. And that was Jin. This was Emerald. This was an Emerald, yeah. Yeah. So... Wow, so it it sounds like it sounds like it's just a whole game as the post game. It it kind of is. Yeah. Like that is that's pretty awesome. Um it is a shame they didn't include it. I I understand like Pokémon has sort of run into a problem where this it, it is a case where they they'd probably have to Oh, nice super effective move. They would probably have to be honest if you look at like a game like Sword and Shield, which made everybody mad because of like Dexit. You know, if I'm Game Freak, I, I'd probably be like, "Look, you can have a thousand Pokemon, or you can have the Battle Frontier. You can't have both. You, you could not possibly. I don't think you could build something like that on top of an already extensive single-player RPG campaign with mm -hmm. as many Pokemon as we have now, with all the abilities and all the moves and all the crazy stuff." Um, it's like, I'm not surprised they haven't gone back to it, but I don't know. I, I wish it, it could make a comeback. I would never play it, but it would be <laughs> cool to have there. That sounds like it probably takes like an extra hundred hours <laughs> to beat on top yeah, of the I game. Mean, it's something that you can get completely lost in because like all the different battle facilities have like their own leaders in them that you can they can mm -hmm. take on and obviously yeah. if you want to you can like build different teams for it yeah like it's it, it's a whole different beast and it's very replayable mm -hmm. you know just for whatever reason uh yeah i know someone in the chat mentioned that like you know just the sheer amount of pokemon probably makes doing stuff like that a lot more challenging mm -hmm. um and you know honestly i kind of wish maybe i, I kind of want someday for them to maybe go to like making smaller pokedexes if it you know, if it if it gets us that like stuff influences back. the game enough to like you know really include like some some like really exciting gameplay changes, mm -hmm. it'd be cool to see them do like another sort of battle frontier, just something that's like replayable and that you know, just gives the player like consistent challenges if they really want it.
Yeah, I, people are. I don't know. With, with Pokemon, it's always tough because there's always going to be a bunch of like speculating about, you know, what the what the development cycles look like, and you know, is there crunch? Are they rushing? You know, what's going on? The the little mm -hmm. part of me is like, well, we we can't know what's going on, so I don't really want to theorize too much. But a little part of me <laughs> thinks that maybe, maybe what what if Game Freak just just kind of sucks at, <laughs> at the technical side of development i don't think that's too unlikely yeah like maybe they're just not great at what they're doing yeah um, yeah. yeah well i think more the way i think about it sometimes is that you know the pokemon games have kind of a reputation for like being very samey and like not changing much up between games mm -hmm. but like, on a technical level, all the games are very different. They all bring very different things to the table. And mm -hmm. it's not surprising to me that, you know, ideas like a Battle Frontier or, like, other things that fans really clamor for get abandoned. Because, like, over time, they just want to make different games. Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I I just get that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think the Battle Tower is making a comeback in Battle Frontier. Because, like, I just don't think that that's like the kind of the people making them clearly don't want to put them in and that's they just want to be making different games yeah and I, I I do understand why they you know I know people are saying like okay they should just say that well it's like it's the backlash just, would be worse if they just came out and said we don't want to make it yeah yeah I think I think a lot of fans especially like big series of like pokemon can get like hung up on you know one thing or another not being in the series anymore and, you know i you know, i do it you know yeah. i would like to be a battle frontier but like that's clearly just not the direction the game figure is going to take the series in whatever direction they want it to go and i uh, you know, ultimately i respect them for doing that they don't always make perfect games but they always i, I think most of the Pokemon games come out pretty good one way or another. The Pokemon formula is just genuinely, like, satisfying enough and good enough to where... Uh, and I don't think they've... I don't think they've phoned it in. Like, with Scarlet and Violet, people sort of assume, oh, they, they must have phoned it in. I don't think they did. I think that gets back to the whole, like... I think they're probably just... That was... That was it! That was Victory Road! <laughs> There was a guy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> a guy. Um. And, and Penta's pointing out, it's the everyone wanting everything problem. Yeah, you can never satisfy everyone. Oh, well, Pokemon is going to be a series that will always be sort of screwed on that front. Because nobody, yeah. ca nobody cares if... You know... Because I look at like a big series like, uh, like Final Fantasy, because I've played through all of them now... You know, the elements that are in all the games is like Chocobo and a uh, dude named Sid. And if it's the more recent games, you know, Tonberries and Cactars. That's like four things. Moogles, four or five things that appear in most of the games that are either just an enemy you can stuff somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. For Pokemon fans, there's... Uh, a million chocobos because each of the each of the thousand pokemon is like a staple that should be there each time and each feature is a staple that should be there each time because a lot of the features are really cool and really good but you know sometimes you just gotta let things go let emerald have its mystique we have earthquake now oh yo you mean the tm yeah is that what we just got yeah, yeah. So we're we're ready. We um, you gotta use earthquake. Yeah, now we have to getting... walk. It's probably gonna be rocky. I, I'd have to guess. Repels. Wait, does, uh... Steelix is he learning on his own? Not for a long time, probably. If he does. And now you can use dig point. because you might need earthquake later. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, it doesn't learn it at all. Screw it. Just give it yeah, to him. Just use it. Go for it. Is this the way out? Oh, I think I just did an unnecessary loop around. This is the way out. Well, you... I thought Victory Road was going to be... As a kid, Victory Road was like hardcore, right? It felt like it was going to be the most intense shit you've ever seen in your life. And then this... And usually it was tough. Especially because as a kid, I was too dumb to use repels. I don't want to buy one full restore. I want to buy multiple full restores. I have to get all the effort values from all the Pokemon. Give me... That was me as a kid. That was you? Yeah. I don't think I need full restores. That seems like a waste of money. Because, like, there's not a whole lot of status effects. We'll get, like, 20 of them hyper potions. We'll get 25 of them hyper potions. Nah, we'll just get 20. We're not going to need them all. But what else am I going to spend the money on? I'm going to get some revives. Get, like, 10 of them bad boys. Because the good thing is that I get a bunch of money. I got the amulet coin on somebody. Might be the can opener. <laughs> well, I forgot to save on the outside of the Pokemon League, so we're going in with sea money, can opener, fish, uh, egg. You brought the egg with you. I brought the egg with me into the Elite Four. But you know what? <laughs> Let's go for it. You can do it. I mean, you have everyone you need. Yeah. Wait, wait. Let's hatch the egg real quick. <laughs> Once once the egg hatches, you can use his bait. <laughs> yeah. If we can, if we can get that. Oh. Um. All right. Sorry. I think this is Will. This is the first. I'm not sure. I think he's like a psychic type, bro. I'm not sure. I don't know what he leads with. I have a spreadsheet. Uh, okay. Wait. Let me. Let me look Pull. it up. I, I had the I had the things pulled up. Oh wait. Maybe I don't. Okay, I've got the Elite Four pulled up on Sarah. He starts with Zatu. Okay. For some reason, I'm, I'm on the page with all the gym leaders, but it doesn't show me the Elite Four. Yeah, they are, they are too different. <laughs> Hatch the egg all in right. front of him to inspire fear. We will do that, Quirt. I need my Shedinja to get defense EVs from this Rhyhorn. <laughs> <laughs> I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. Yeah, I don't think we're beating this. Can you imagine if Egg is such a small downgrade from Steelix that it doesn't matter? <laughs> oh yeah, I used the Zatu in XD Gale of Darkness. If this is anything like the Zatu there, this should not be a problem. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. No. Oh, ow. Never mind. Oh, this that can't be that much. Come on. Yeah, Lantern's pretty tough, right? Oh, ooh. Well, that wasn't even a crit. We're definitely... And he's saying the same thing in reverse. Like, damn. This can't be that strong. Can't. Holy shit. Okay, don't range us. If it does the same damage it just did, we're good. Oh, it did nice. less. Okay. He's down one, we're not down one, so... And we leveled up. Hey, that's the good thing. If this is a doomed egg run, we at least level up and get some extra money. <laughs> and Executor? Oh, I know who's going in for this one. You can tear him up. He's gonna eat his ass for breakfast. I hate how they all have Psychic, because Victor, actually, if Victor does not get this kill, Victor almost certainly gets destroyed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, Victor, please. Oh, no. Oh, Victor. No, no. Come on, you just have to eat one of them, Victor. Just one. Just one. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, Executor's got pretty, pretty stonk special attack. Okay, you know what? Oh, Fuck no. it. No. Sweet <laughs> Yeah, that works too.
Jinx is ice psychic. I think you should stay in. Should I stay in with Suicune? How does Surf do against that? Is that neutral? Uh, it's neutral. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and you got stonk defenses. I always forget. I always felt like like ice is super effective against water, because if you put ice in water, it freezes the water. Or like, you know, it makes it more like ice, kind of. Actually, it's yeah. really the opposite, because ice will melt in water. Really, I think I should be getting super effective damage right now, dealt to this Jinx. Dealt to Justin you, Trudeau. You really should. Oh, shit. Maybe we can, uh... Mm. I'll see if I can go ahead and uh, adjust the game's code. Yeah. Pretty dumb. Go, go change this. I don't like that tight matchup. <laughs> I disagree with it. I want to change it. Please. I think every move I use should be super effective, says Tarpad. Can you change that code, please? <laughs> Make all of our Pokemon good. Slow, bro. Oh, shit. Well, Fish will get killed doing this, but he's going to throw himself out here. One noble sacrifice for one big-time spark. He's going to spark it up. Yeah. I love the facial. Stuff, right? oh, I have a what? You have revives and stuff. Dude. Yeah, I bought I bought plenty of revives. Ooh. All right, get um, see money in there. <laughs> if player equals tar pad, then attack equals good. Yes, a crit. Okay, how many has he got left? I think this is his last one. Yeah. Yeah. Zatu. It's Come another on. Zatu. And that's part flying, though, so... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Zatu, but... Uh, you get me Aurora Beam. I don't make the rules. I just follow him. Oh, shit, he outspeeds us. We're stonky defense, though, is what you've been saying on Suicune. Oh, wow, that hardly right, did anything. That's not... Good lord. Yeah, and that is... No! Now he does have a very distinct chance to win through shenanigans. No, no. Oh, no. Ah, uh, shit. Here we, we go. Survive this, though. We still survived this psychic, yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> we, we got out of it. Confused no more. He had a strategy, but it was no good. In the new games, how much do Hyper Potions heal for? I think 200. Okay, they're 200 here, too. Yeah. We couldn't figure out if they had been nerfed or not. Um, last time, chat and myself. Some people are saying 120, but I'm not sure if that's for all the games. Oh, Exper maybe it is 120. My bad. Experience yeah. the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay, who's this bum? Is this Koga? Is it? Yeah, that is Koga. Yeah! And at this pace with our uh, revives, we're going to be pretty good. Pretty well off here. Um... I'm glad we have to watch the whole bar go up. Oh, we can't move, use multiple in a single click. All right, who does Koga start with? Uh, Koga starts with an area dose. That's bug type, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, he's well, also got a Venomoth and a Fortress. 
Okay, so what you're telling me is that Koga is about to be one of the easiest Pokemon <laughs> and yeah. one of the easiest trainers in history. All right, Victor. Yeah. Well, the, the the Fortress has Explosion that can deal some damage. Ooh. Uh, and he also has a Crobat and a Muck. I would love it. Well, Crobat's going to be tough. Yeah. And Muck is going to be tough just because of the, the thick size of that thing. Oh, and the Crobat has double team. That's... Oh! Totally Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Bopper about to eat words. Well... Easy for about two Pokemon. Oh, great. He's going to do this for a lot of his Pokemon, isn't he? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Ariados and, and Crobat have double team, and Muck has Minimize. Okay. So well, he's just going to be pulling accuracy shenanigans. Venomoth is bug psychic? Bug poison. Bug poison. Yeah. Uh, but he has psychic. Okay, well. <laughs> yep. Let's see if he has HP. He'll probably have HP after this. No, he won't. No. Nope. Victor's just like that. Get him out of here. Easy money. <laughs> Koga's like, oh shit, oh fuck. He wants to <laughs> retire now. Um, Fortress is steel type, right? Man, this, yeah. is, this is where I wish we had fire. Ooh. Steel resists ice, right? Yes, it does. But bug is weak to ice, so it's neutral. Bug is not weak to ice. Oh shit. Yeah, it's uh Fortress is only weak to fire and fighting. And resists a lot of the other stuff that we have. Uh -huh. Water is neutral, right? In this. Water is neutral to to Fortress? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> He said Fortress has explosions, so we're going to put fish out there so that he doesn't explode Suicune. <laughs> Please, explode something bad for me. I mean, <laughs> I could... Something, you know, something okay. Aw, oh, man. Oh, dude's pulling the spikes, strats. God, he's a fucking competitive tryhard. We have got to kick Koga's <laughs> ass. <laughs> I swear, if he explodes. Whoa! Ooh, fish! Crit for the win! Fish is him. Okay. Fog gaming. Muck. Well, you know what? With spikes out... Spikes are just there for good, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't do anything about You know that. what? I'm going to be an asshole to him, too. <laughs> yeah. Muck spelled backwards. <laughs> Here you go, Muck. <laughs> Bro, you can put, you put him in the parafusion. You I'm stuck him in the corner. Yeah! I mean, that's what he bragged about up front. He was like, guess what I'm gonna do? And I'm like, what? <laughs> this? Parafusion? There were a couple people in the comments of the Onyx video, Gregster, that got very, uh... startled by Muck spelled backwards. Oh, and with this design, too. Ugh. Defense went way up, but that doesn't matter because Surf is, uh, mental, right? Yep. Oh, please, please! Yes! Nice! <laughs> I'm not leaving. Fish just keeps winning. Okay. This Crobat you said has double team, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Shit. 
I f <laughs> shit. I think our our big thing here is if we can hit one of these. Yes. There we go. Then we'll we'll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so last time was me being an asshole. Now it's and, his turn. No, oh, let's go. <laughs> what a bastard! Oh my god, yeah. Okay, we just have to hit a couple of these. Oh no! No, we have to hit quite a few. Damn. Well, we're at least tanky, kind of, with with toxic. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, non-zero chance he runs the gambit here against. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm not on double teams yet. Give me a second. I should have parafused him. I just need a couple turns. Please, please. Oh my god. Oh, he's gone. It's over. Please, please, does that kill? It might leave him with a... Yes! Alright, Koga done for. You've proven your worth. Okay. Alright. I promise that we have a poisoned fish. And I think yeah, that's. Do you have anything to help him? I have a full restore, or I could walk until he faints and then revive. Because, <laughs> well, what we have coming up here is, uh, we don't need him for this Bruno. fight. Oh, Bruno, we don't. Bruno's easy. No, I didn't switch. Who? I wonder who I'm starting with. I didn't change it. <laughs> Because I, I would have liked to start with uh, Crobat. Would have been the good start. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not bad for it to come in later, either. Uh. Yeah, yeah, look at him go. <laughs> oh, he is starting? Spin. He just is already starting? Okay, all right. Sorry, Bruno. This is the way it's going to be. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, he's being a jerk to you. Oh, God, he's... I said that, and then immediately Bruno's a dog. <laughs> Hits you with the quick attack. He knows the... He's... I guess it's the fighting type Elite Four. He's probably seen fly strats way too many times. <laughs> you can't do this to me. No, please. Stop. Onyx? Okay. Oh, yeah, he, he thinks he's being smart. Yeah. He saw my flying type and he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what he went through his head in that moment just now. <laughs> he's just, oh. Uh. <laughs> what is, does Rain Dance power up water moves? Uh, yes. Honestly? I might set it up and just see if we can sweet coon sweep the rest of this. I, I think you can. Oh shit! It's fine. That can't hurt. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's Onyx. Bruno clearly doesn't know about the universal Pokemon randomizer. <laughs> we love him breaking the Onyx out. That, that expression on Onyx's face is, is, is Bruno's expression right now. Yeah, poor guy. Oh, boy. Now, do you think this guy can do anything right here? I love the 3D, mm. though, that the fist's coming out. That does look pretty cool. Does this, does this KO? Mm. Does Probably he do it? Hitmonchan, Hip, Hitmonchan's pretty tanky. That's, like, his whole thing. Yeah. Now watch all that damage. Yeah. That was that was a lot of damage. Wow, he's so good. Uh, 
That's three down. All right, now it's time for Bruce. There's something about the design of Hitmonlee that just always looks weird to me. He looks like a Monsters, Inc. monster more than a Pokemon when I see him. He kind of does. <laughs> What's up with his hand way in the back? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bruno. Bruno didn't have to be this way. Now, I do think we might have some problems coming here. With Machamp. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I mean, look oh, at what's, what's his moves. Do you have anything? He probably has nothing worthwhile, but... He doesn't have priority. He's He's got cross chop, but who cares? You got surf. Oh. Damn, and that's with Rain Dance. Oh! Yes! Ooh! We get we get to pop one more off. He does know about the universal Pokemon randomizer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, that bites. Hey. Yeah, well then Victor can come in and clean <laughs> Victor, up easy. Victor, Victor's gonna easy clean up money. Speedy Hawk's mess. <laughs> Where'd he go? Goodbye, Bruno. Oh, and a crit, too, just for good measure. <laughs> just to rub his face in it. All right. What does Karen start with, the fourth trainer? Karen's, I think, a dark type trainer, right? Yeah, and she starts with an Umbreon. What is uh, even super team... effective against dark? Fighting, bug. Um. I'm trying to think of what else. Okay. Well, what what Pokemon gets led here? Hmm. I mean, you haven't you haven't opened any cans yet, but he seems like the man for the job. You're saying you're saying it's time. I I think it is. She got an Umbreon. She got a, she got a Gengar, a Murkrow, Houndoom. Oh, a Houndoom. Know, yeah, the Houndoom seems kind of scary. Well, we have Sweetcorn. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I'm sure. I'm sure. I feel. I'm, I'm sure Karen feels worse about the Sweetcorn than I feel about the Houndoom. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess. Um, this is going to be a weird one to deal with. When I look at the roster, when what you said, the one I'm probably most worried about is Gengar. Because that's where not having Rocky is actually going to hurt. Because I can't just use Dig. Um, yeah, true. It doesn't look like it has, like, any attacks that are really threatening, though. Mm -hmm. Well, that's you good. Destiny Bond. That's not fun. Destiny Bond is the one where you kill it, it kills you. Yeah. I'm trying to think, do I, like, just... We'll save. I mean, I'm gonna save Scum the Elite Four anyway, because that's what I did as a kid. Well, yeah, up. of course. You you save before you go in, and then after the two, after the first two, you go, "Oh, I can do this," and then you save again, and then you lose. Yeah. You said but you're not going to lose. You're going to win. I, th I think you're right. Um. You you think it's it's can opener time to open? I think it's. I think it is. I think he he deserves some action, right? If you actually make it through Lance with a fucking egg in your party, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I think, get prepared to scream, I hope. Does this say more about me or more about Steelix? <laughs> Alright, Umbreon. 
The Houndoom killed me so many times in Heart Gold because it has nasty plot. Uh, doesn't mess around. Does it have nasty plot here? Um. Oh my God, can opener's faster the than a level. Yeah. No. How is can opener faster than a level? F oh my God. Well, Umbreon's pretty slow. Yeah, this dude. This dude just wants to make you miss. He's got a confuse ray. He's got a sand attack. Okay, I see what you're saying because now we're both just hitting each other with moves of equal strength, but I'm faster and stronger. Oh my god. Oh, he's an asshole! It's just like me. Yeah, you should probably switch out. I wonder to who. Should I go to Fish? Um... Cause fish Probably is, fish, yeah. Fish is almost dead, it. but I can if I can like be an asshole as well. Them. Yeah, paralyze before getting knocked out of here. <laughs> He's <'Cause>, still poisoned. <laughs> I don't have an antidote. Like I have a full restore. Oh, this is perfect. Beautiful. There we go. Damn. And then we go back to can opener. Who's going to eat this faint attack like it's nothing. Oh, it just skipped their whole turn. Nice. I cannot believe that the poison ended up actually working in our favor by allowing. <laughs> the poison worked in our favor by letting fish die so that Umbreon lost a whole turn. This is some real pivot gaming. The best thing Fish did for this battle was dying. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, that's not true. The paralyze is pretty good, too. There we go. All right, can opener. Yeah. Oh, that 96 attack is crazy. Uh, Vile Plume. We know. We know how this one's going to end. <laughs> I love how Dark Type Leader is just... Dark type is still in that infancy where it's like, just just go with things that kind of have the vibe. <laughs> yeah. She's got a Murkrow on her team. That's how dire the situation is. <laughs> Okay, now here's here's the here's where I've been concerned. Gengar, uh, as far as defenses, is it going to be better to target Gengar physically or mentally? Uh, physically. So, Honestly, I think Victor's a good bet because you might be faster than it. I've got to be right. Yeah. Because we're pretty close in Maybe. level. Hmm. You got bite. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Good stuff. Because it's going to try to paralyze with Lick. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> and we can just switch out to get rid of the, the curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, Murkrow, yeah, this is a bad situation for old Karen. <laughs> We've had two very silly ways to win in this fight so far. Sorry about this one. This will probably be a two-shot, I would guess. Yeah. Probably. You know what? Because Murkrow sucks... I'm just going to set up this Houndoom kill early. Nice. Because I do have some concerns. Well, and importantly, that... 
uh, also lowers the power of fire moves, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. I'm worried whether you can survive a crunch from Houndoom, but we'll see. I probably can't. Oh, not oh, with a crit. Was great, uh, yeah. So here's the question is going to be, right? Uh, <laughs> sweet setup. <laughs> I think depending on how this goes, we can... We can just be hateful, first of all. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I mean, we'll, we'll survive one. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Give it as many turns as possible to hit itself. Yes. No, the rain stopped. Shit. Um... Yes! Oh, you got Victor. it. Victor! It's over! No! <laughs> That's brutal. Come on. Nice flamethrower, buddy. Oh shit. That's gotta be it for Victor. Yeah. There's no coming back from that. Now I apologize to the can opener and for C Money for what's about to happen to them. <laughs> <laughs> because they exist here for exactly one survive. thing. <laughs> yeah. They are here <laughs> for Suicune. <laughs> Sorry, can opener. <laughs> now, Lance is going to be an interesting problem because we're going in. We're going to be going in with very few revives. I think that's okay as long as, uh. As long as Speedy Hawk is there to spam all of the. Dragon the dragon Aurora Beam. The Aurora Beam will be good. Because Aurora Beam's four times, right? Uh, yeah. Because all that's going to have to happen here is that Suicune's going to have to survive exactly one attack. Also, I mentioned if you, uh, if you hatch the egg, that's another revive. This is true. <laughs> All right, that's it. Elite four down. Champion remains. <laughs> oh damn! That level would have been nice. <laughs> Wait, how does ice and fire interact? Is ice um, neutral against fire? I think not in Gen 1. I think in Gen 2, fire resists ice. Okay, so that'll be like... Charizard will be fish gaming, probably. We'll have... Okay, we'll have hey, three revives Charizard for this fight. This team. God about that. Who does he open with? He opens with Gyarados. Okay, so that's fish. That's fish food. Because mm -hmm. that's four times to spark. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot that his uh, his Dragonites have Twister. How how is what what kind of move is Twister? 
it's a dragon type move and it's 40 base power look now i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> these dragonites are some stat sponges so <laughs> Aurora Beam from Suicune's gonna be good. I don't know how crazy good it's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty fucking good. Is it time to hatch the egg for the fodder? I wanna know if they put the egg in the Hall of Fame. If we have an egg <laughs> in the team. There's a strategic benefit to hatching the egg. I think both outcomes for the Hall of Fame are funny. I've been waiting for you. Bakker. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. I think I forgot to put fish first. Which sucks because everyone else is like healing fodder. <laughs> All right, can opener. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! All right, no, this is fine though. No. This is fine. Can opener yeah, did his job. Here for it. Would have been a huge counter. <laughs> We come on, eat it, eat it, fish. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it. This is your breakfast. Fish, yes! Yeah! Fish! <laughs> that would have been a great time to use endure. Fish just went like beast mode cosmic cure you stance and just ate that whole thing. <laughs> He's about to use Dragonite. I wonder Which if one, they can. Man? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, man, which one? Right, how much does he take? Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so good. Wonder Fuck! Back. Ow. Oh my god! Oh, shit. Well, uh, it probably won't kill. There you go. Yes! Well, that's two of his six down. See, and this is where we wish Can Opener was still alive so we could get that full restore. Do the other Dragonites also have Thunder Wave and Thunder? I don't know if they have Thunder. Um. Uh, two of them have Thunder Wave. Huh. Wait. Okay, but only one has Thunder. Okay. So the Thunder uh, one's down. That's good news for us. Yeah, there's one that has Thunder Wave and Blizzard. Uh, and one that has Fire Blast, Outrage, and Hyper Beam. I guarantee you the Blizzard one is this one against Victor right now. Doesn't matter. Hit itself in Confusion. Crit. Come on. Of course! Ow. Ouch. Oh, we can survive one, I'm sure. Blizzard's not mm. that strong, is it? Yes! Oh. Victor coming in clutch. Okay, here's... Do we hit bite for the flinch? Try to get the flinch, or do we just go for fly, you think? Go for damage. Fly. This should be in range. Especially if he hits himself. Which he does! Nice. Oh my god, Victor just 1v1'd one of the Dragonites. <laughs> Victor goes hard! Victor Get that level, Victor. Hard. Victor needs to be censored in the next remake. 
Aerodactyl. Oh. He's gonna be a tough cookie. Um because he's rock flying. These ne these yeah. next three are gonna be tough to deal with. Yeah, so he's got Nerodactyl, Charizard, and the last Dragonite. Mm -hmm. mm. He's got big jaw too. Well, I'm looking at his moves. He has wing attack. That's gonna be a problem. He also has hyper beam. Yeah. You I bet you could survive. Yeah, <laughs> let's Probably. Wing attack we could definitely survive. Cause it's For sure. At least one, yeah. So we'll just do that. I'm a little worried about how it's gonna about how this whole damage output's gonna look. So I think now I'm not getting another attack off with sea money, so I think now's full restore time on yeah. Suicune. That's move. <clears throat> Reflect would have been better. Reflect Oh, Reflect transfers, doesn't it, across party members? Even if, like, Sea Money dies. I think it does in this game. Is Fish going to be able to outspeed? It, absolutely not. Is, oh, is Aerodactyl one of those fast fucks? He's pretty fast. Get in there, Victor. Victor, you have exactly one thing you got to do. I like how Poison's done no damage. We should have just hit with Razor Leaf. Lance is tough. Lance is tough, especially with that first Dragonite. Unfortunately, getting that paralysis on us. That's fine. That's fine. Can we can we survive the 2v3? That's the question. Right now, Aerodactyl has taken no damage from Poison <laughs> still. <laughs> this is so bad. This is really bad. Any Thunder Wave? Uh. <laughs> uh. Come on, Fish. Fish already ate one of these earlier. I'm sure he can do it again. Of course he can do it again. I think he, like, avoided poison damage because he KO'd you. Yeah, that's why. Poison does not damage okay. you if you kill someone. That's... Is this the free turn? Um, I just lost track. Is this the free turn? This has got to be, right? I think so. Dragonite. Again. Boy. More. I want you to use that Pokemon again. Yeah, which one, man? Thank God Suicune's so fast. I'm surprised it's us being the Dragonites. Is Dragonite like a... What does Safeguard do? Uh protects you from status conditions it oh so he matter. he just uh interesting he just wasted his full restore yeah That's, so he he mad folded on these two po uh, on this fight right here he, he completely folded on you now you can just one shot his charizard with surf probably yeah. and he's got nothing that can one shot you yeah it, it's game Egg in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Egg in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> we have two water types here, too. And the other one's water electric, too. So, I mean, if worse comes to worse, he's not. There's nothing he can do. No. Nah, it's over. It's over. Jesus. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> That's fine, though. That lost. He just lost by using Hyper Beam, so... 
Hyperbeam literally gave him a 100% loss chance. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> and there it goes. You did it. You put an egg in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed their eyes with a great new champion. Well, I'm sorry. King K, I hope you are actually screaming. <laughs> because we beat Lance with an egg in the Hall of Fame and had no losses. We did use items, for those of you who care about that sort of thing, but I don't. Who cares? So, that takes away your power. Egg sweep. Crystal Elemental has the right idea. Egg sweep. The egg was your ace, but you never needed it. Oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow... Ah, Barker, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the league is just spent. Egg's conquest of the league. Your Pokemon were outstanding too because they believed in you as a trainer. Congratulations, Barker. Let's interview the brand new champion. Okay, I, legitimately, I cannot believe we did that because walking in with the egg was a mistake. <laughs> I feel bad for Steelix. <laughs> well, you'll just have to do it, you know, do the, the second Elite Four with Steelix. Yeah. I don't know if this game has a second Elite Four. I hope it does. Or, well, I, um, I guess it's just Fighting Blue, but, you yeah. know, whatever the, the second part is. The Super Boss. Um... Nin, we're going to have to write that one down because uh, <laughs> as the sequel to the Onyx Sucks video, we now have wow, look how good he is. He was literally worth the same war as an egg. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you have to do now too is uh, you whatever hatches from that egg, you have to use. Yeah. Oh, he put all six balls in there. Yeah, there he is. New Hall of Famer. Can opener. Did I have to grind for the Elite Four? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't grind anything in this game. See, money. It came so far. Lantern. Ah, oh, they don't put the egg in. No. Damn. But you have a long way to go. Nin, we'll have to look and see if we can hack that in. <laughs> because we, all we probably need is the is the actual image. Whoa. Yeah. Egg percent in 1557. All right. So Riley, Stan, and Chat has invented a new speedrunning category, um, which we're going to go ahead and pencil myself in as the world champion of, which is Egg Percent. 1557. Hey, smooch him. Maybe that's a hit. Maybe that's because of the egg. Maybe that's what's in the egg. Who knows? Well, The game's predicting. Yeah. The game has its own fan theory. <laughs> I genuinely cannot believe no. that, by the way. That, we... that, that was an event. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I was here to witness Egg Percent. I can't believe not only that we beat Jin 2 in four streams, but that we did beat it under the Egg Percent conditions. This is also probably satisfying for you because I can't imagine you have any intention to go play Gen 2 anytime soon. I really don't. Uh, so I'm really glad I got to see you do it. Um, well, I just wish I, you know, wish I had the hardware to play any of the, like, Gen 1 or 2. And I just don't have it. Yeah, they don't. They, they None of the, none of Gen 1 and Gen 2 or Gen 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or seven are available anymore. 
beyond third party. So, I that's are, sad. I think Gens eight and nine are the only ones you can like buy currently. Yeah, you know, obviously all of them you can buy on the aftermarket if you you know have you know no regard for your financial stability. Mm -hmm. It it's great that the most common games in the world are also the most expensive because I guess people hoard them. People just don't give up their Pokemon games is probably the explanation. Yeah. I think oh, so. Yeah. Well, the good thing for hardware is you can play this game like I did. Nintendo PC. Because <laughs> they, they, yeah. they did used to be on the 3DS eShop, but, you know. You know. You know. To, yeah. Oh, how the times change. Yeah. You know... Before we, we leave here, I will tell you, um, because it is one of the funniest things I've seen, because uh, it's such a bait, mm. um, is there's a, there's a great article for um, the Nintendo Switch Online with the headline, uh, two classic Pokemon games have arrived on Nintendo Switch, which had everyone freaking out. And then when you opened it up, it was Pokemon Stadium 2 and Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color. <laughs> <laughs> which, here's the thing, right? I've played neither of those games. People stand by stand those games. Apparently they are, you know, I'm going to take people's word for it. and go. They're, they're, they're probably really good and really fun. But that's like such a, that's one of the biggest bait headlines I've ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, it was probably written by someone who's like, ah, oh, Pokemon games? I've heard of a Pokemon before. <laughs> this egg has already seen everything. Um... Yo, I, I was actually playing the, uh, what is it? The, the trading card game, Game Boy game on the emulator a little while ago. Yeah, yeah, on like the Nintendo Switch Online thing. Yeah, yeah. How, how it's, is it's it? legit tough. It it's hard. Yeah, like I don't. I mean, take it as a grain of salt. I don't really know a lot about the trading card game, but that game did not teach me anything. <laughs> I've never played the Pokemon trading card game either, uh, like the actual game. So I I can't imagine. Yeah. I'm sure a video game would would kick my ass. That's interesting to know that it's that it's that. Uh, where'd you get this egg? It's not Togepi, right? No, this is not the Togepi egg. This egg came from the daycare. The daycare person gave it to me. I didn't breed it. Uh, this egg has a random chance to be any of the baby Pokemon other than Togepi. So, who knows? Um, you can do Stadium multiplayer on Nintendo Switch Online. That's really cool. Um, well, here's the cool part, That's right, cool. about this game. Is that now... Uh, uh, we have to we have to fly back over there. I think I don't think you can fly across. Uh, New Bark is that I forget how you actually get to Kanto. I think you go into the like not the Elite Four, but you go into the thing. Someone's gonna have to remind me. Um, and then do that, uh, which is which is fun. Um. Nah, at some point we'll have to play more. Uh, more. I'm, I'm glad you did get to see Gen 2, though. I'm glad I've beaten the Gen 2 Elite 4, because unlike the Gen 1 Elite 4, I'd never beaten Gen 1 before I streamed it and then did the video. I'd mm -hmm. only ever played it. I'd played it many times to get walled by Lorelei. Um, I did beat the Elite 4 in this game when I was like 10, uh, but I, I never beat uh, Red. So that's like sort of the the white whale for this game is beating the super boss. At least oh, here it's just yeah. a, at least here it's just one definable super boss instead of the entire battle frontier or something. <laughs> not that I yeah. ever beat not that I ever beat Emerald as a kid either because Emerald I remember being comically difficult. Um, yeah, I think Emerald does like kind of hike up the difficulty a little, in, especially because you it messes a lot with double battles more. Yeah. Uh. But also, I remember Emerald going hard in general, so it's, you know... Yeah. It's a pretty good game, from everything I remember as a kid. Um, oh! 
but yeah, I think that's where we'll call it for today because um, we're three hours, 45 minutes in. We got everything done that we needed to do. And I think everyone's been saying that uh, Jin, that Kanto is, you can be Kanto all eight gyms in one stream because the, the gym leaders are all worse than the Elite Four. <laughs> so it's like, who cares? And Kanto is really truncated compared to its uh, red and uh, green blue version. So um, we won't have much to worry about. Uh, so it's not like a, so it's all just going to be gearing up for red. Yeah. Um, like a victory lap. Yeah. Victory lap's a nice way to put it, but also red is not a victory lap. So <laughs> no, it's not. Um, when, not when you have my, my incredible, at least it's just a guy, right? Red's just like one dude. Um, and yeah. you can technically have Tyranitar ready for him. So. <laughs> uh, if that matters, I don't know. Maybe we'll go Porygon too. We'll bring Porygon too uh, into the fray um, after I hack in a Porygon because I'm not doing the game center. But uh, no, wait, you don't want to play the mini game that you need to rack up points for to get the Porygon? I really don't want to get nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine coins at the game corner. <laughs> Maybe the egg is Porygon too. Wouldn't that be a treat? <laughs> Oh boy. Well, thank you for joining. This was a, a blast and it's always great to have you on. Um, I know somebody earlier asked whatever happened to Iron Colon. Iron Colon is still around. Um, and maybe one day Iron Colon will come on for some Resident Evil 4 remake. <laughs> That'll happen Iron someday. Iron Colon is busy working on a PhD. Yeah, so it gets kind of difficult sometimes <laughs> during like 10 of the 12 months of the year, so... Um, I, uh... We we, de we decided to go for the the obviously correct life decision of not getting a PhD. Um, I hope I, I hope, don't regret it personally. I do not regret not getting it. Um, sometimes I think about that life, and I'm like, you know, at least his PhD is going to be in a field where he can, you know, make better money than whatever I would. <laughs> oh wow literature phd what are you stupid um but anyways yeah thank you for joining it was uh it was great big poppy's here he's demanding food so gotta go care for the worst guy in the world you, you uh, have to you have to satisfy the poppy yeah i'm and glad i was here yeah i'm glad i got to see egg percent <laughs> i'm we all, everyone here got to see Egg Percent, and I'm very happy that we all did. Um, you need a PhD for that FE8 tier list. Um, yeah. Uh, Egg Percent was great, and hopefully uh, when we knock this out, it'll be great. And maybe you'll be able to join for the Kanto victory lap, or maybe the massacre at the hands of Red. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Red. You know, if we can get you on one more time, at least, I'd love for it to be Red. I so, would love to. I'll be here for it. Yes, please. All right. Well, thank you, Nin and Lord Pent, Doran, Starry, Some Guy, Quirt, Kelly, Mr. Rexfire, King K, Mix X, Crystal Elemental, G Merc, Gregster, Rosetta Foster, and Becklin, and anybody else who I do not currently see in chat, Riley Stan, Caldeo. You all are the best, and we will see you next time on Pokemon Crystal the post game edition yeah all yeah. right goodbye we'll